closer to tip off. Price picks it up, and Carson Newman is the South Atlantic Conference Tournament Champions. More CN memories are headed your way on the Eagles Sports Network. There's something about a small community that unites us, whether it's cheering on our favorite team or the way we come together in a crisis. Small communities are made up of people with big hearts. We're dedicated to hard work and innovation through sunny days and stormy nights. AEC is always here, powering the people and the places that make our community a spectacular place to call home. AEC, power what matters most. The number one source for Carson Newman Athletics gear, shopcneagles.com, where you can find gear from Adidas, Columbia, Nike, and Under Armour. Shirts, jerseys, sweatshirts, shorts, pants, hats, and scarves. Shopcneagles.com is your source for everything CN. You can even show your school spirit on your smartphone or tablet. All of your game day essentials can be found in one place. Shopcneagles.com. tailgate or the AEC countdown to tip off right here on the Eagles Sports Network. Make the right call for your energy efficiency and score big savings today. Contact AEC, your trusted energy partner. So big storylines ahead of this one. Carson Newman taking on Lander for the second consecutive season to start off the season. Last year a win against Lander to kick off the 2022 campaign. A Lander team that was number 10 in the country at one point. The Eagles looking to get it done here once again tonight. Some storylines heading into this one. Mike Mincy has led this team to have an elite scoring unit. Carson Newman has led the sack in scoring for the last six seasons. Sixth, third, seventh, sixth, and 13th nationally. So this is a high-powered scoring offense that the Eagles have. Lander led in its second season. Mentioned her before the break. Stephanie Dale Dalehausen in her second season with Lander, previously coached at Ashland University, a 105-15 record at Ashland. Coach Mike Minty had a lot of good things to say about Galehausen and what she's doing with this Lander squad. Surely to be a team that will put up some good competition. Four top scorers coming back by Kira Johnson Kelly, one of them that averaged 13.3 points per game in her tenure at Benedict, three seasons there. Bringing back also the Peach Belt Conference Freshman of the Year in 2022-23 in Quadasia Kelly. Led the Bearcats in scoring with 12 points per game on 35.1% shooting. And second on the team in steals with 40 boards. So Quadasia Kelly, a really skilled player, looking to make an impact here tonight for Lander. It'll be an exciting matchup between these two teams. It's a Peach Belt Conference and South Atlantic Conference Challenge this year to host the Carson Newman Eagles. Later tonight, we'll see Lenore Ryan and USC Aiken take the floor, so it's sure to be an exciting evening of basketball. Just wrapped up the season for football, did Carson Newman. A 24-14 loss at the hand of the Catawba Indians. It's a big day here on Mossy Creek. Both teams getting ready to go. Carson Newman and Lander getting ready to go. On the other side, we'll talk about starters as both these teams head to the bench. We'll have the national anthem in just a few moments right here on the Eagles Sports Network. When you're sick and tired of fast food and need a fresh home-cooked meal, turn to Lisa's Country Kitchen. Lisa's been cooking up her fresh, never-frozen food for the Lakeway area for more than 15 years. Lisa's cares about her customers. You may enter a stranger, but you'll leave a friend. From footlong hot dogs to juicy steaks, Lisa's has the best food for the best prices. Lisa's Country Kitchen on Route 92 off Old Andrew Johnson Highway. The best food for the best prices. We're getting closer to tip off. It's taken by Hodge. Her floater is up and in with 9.3 to play in the game. We're tied at 72. More CN memories are headed your way on the Eagles Sports Network.
you're sick and tired of fast food and need a fresh home-cooked meal, turn to Lisa's Country Kitchen. Lisa's been cooking up her fresh, never-frozen food for the Lakeway area for more than 15 years. Lisa's cares about her customers. You may enter a stranger, but you'll leave a friend. From foot-long hot dogs to juicy steaks, Lisa's has the best food for the best prices. Lisa's Country Kitchen on Route 92 off Old Andrew Johnson Highway. The best food for the best prices. We're getting closer to tip off. Taken by Hodge, her floater is up and in with 9.3 to play in the game. We're tied at 72. More CN memories are headed your way on the Eagles Sports Network. Back at Holt Fieldhouse, getting ready to go right here on the Eagle Sports Network. Ryan Wilkes with you, taking you through all of tonight's action out on the hardwood between Carson Newman and Lander. So getting ready to go, we'll go over some starting lineups for the two sides. First for the visiting Lander Bearcats, number three, Wakira Johnson Kelly, number 11, Abby Carter, number 14, Corey Santoro, at forward, number 21, Alicia Burgos, and at center, number 24, Quadeja Landing. The guard, Quadeja Landing, the 2022-2023 freshman of the year for a lander. As we now take a look at Carson Newman at guard, number five, Tori Rutherford, getting the start. Number 11, Braylon Weichel. She's had quite a career here at Carson Newman. Garnered a ton of accolades in her time here, most recently 2022-23, first team all South Carolina Conference on the first team preseason this year. The junior number 14, Campbell Penland, get the, gets the start at guard. Member of the 2021-22 all-freshman team. At Florida, coming back from injury, missed 25 games last year, is number 23, Lindsey Taylor, preseason first team all South Carolina Conference last year. The 2022 SAC Tournament MVP. And at, at guard, number 32, Skylar Boshears. Started all games in 2022-23. So an experienced squad in the starting lineup for Carson Newman tonight as the Eagles look to get in the win column to start the year. So getting ready to jump it up at midcourt. Ten minutes on the clock. The Eagles in the home whites. Lander in the road blacks. Eagles having one last conversation with head coach Mike Mincy, then we'll get ready to go. Good crowd on hand, a lot of fans trickling over from Bergtar Stadium after the Eagles had a football game this afternoon, fell 24 to 14 to Catawba, but everyone has their eyes on the women's basketball team right now. It's Lindsey Taylor jumping up at midcourt with Alicia Burgos as we are underway. Taylor wins the tip. It goes to Penland. Crossing over midcourt is Rutherford on the right wing, right in front of the bench. Rutherford looking for a pass here. Hits Penland at the top of the key. Penland hand off to Bo Shears. Dribbling around at the top. Defending is Carter. Now right wing is Rutherford. Looking down low for Taylor. It's deflected. Now it goes off the foot of a Bearcat. And out of bounds. Weichel looking to drive. Nowhere to go right there. 9.41 left to go here in the first quarter. Carson Newman's first possession of the 2023 season. Rutherford, top of the key, Penland open three from the top, off the side of the rim, rebound, Taylor goes up, no good. Tipped around and rebound is snared by Burgos. Here come the Lander Bearcats, crossing over midfield is Wakira Johnson Kelly. Kelly a move at the top of the key, Boshier's defending. Hand off left, left wing, Langley drives, passes out. Now Santoro drives on Weichel. Good defense by Braylon Weichel. Now picks up her dribble. A shot by Santoro is short. Here comes Lindsey Taylor. Moving left to right are the Eagles. No score. Just about a minute in. Eight. Weichel on the left wing. Looking for a pass. Finds Rutherford wide open. Corner three. No good. Rebound Bo Shears. 
Now she'll drive it in. Bo Shears wide open layup is good. Carson Newman takes a two nothing lead as Taylor shields off a defender and the Eagles are on the board. Here comes Johnson Kelly across midcourt, tipped away. Good defense by the Eagles and now Taylor takes it away. Lindsey Taylor slowing it down, bringing up the floor for the Eagles. Left wing, it's Penland. Penland drives towards the elbow, kicks out to Weichel. Weichel finds Rutherford up top. The Eagles slow it down. Right wing, it's Penland. The pass goes out of bounds. Good defense by, look like Burgos right there on Lindsey Taylor. 8.27 to go in this first half, just in first quarter, just getting underway. The Eagles lead 2 to nothing. Langley controls in the backcourt. It's Weichel defending. Now Mykira Johnson Kelly looking to do something on Penland here. Lander still yet to get a bucket. It's early on. Nothing going so far. Now a drive and a kick. In the corner, it's Carter. Carter to the top of the key. Shot clock is ticking down. Seven seconds. Lander's going to have to get a shot here. Johnson Kelly drives. Reverse layup is good. Mykira Johnson Kelly on the drive. Shot clock trickling down, and she scores to tie it up at two. Here comes Tori Rutherford in front of Lake, in front of the Lander bench. Makes a move on Johnson Kelly. Now left corner, it's Bo Shears. Feeds down low, Taylor, she's fouled. Good entry pass by Skyler. Bo Shears in the far side corner, found Taylor. And lots of contact, the foul goes, I believe on, it's gonna be on Kodasia Landing. The first foul on, on Langley. As Taylor goes to the line, first free throw is up and good. The Eagles lead a three to two. Both teams getting off to a bit of a cold start. Landers only shot two shots. Carson Newman shot four. The Eagles one for four from the field. Lander one of two as this one rattles around and out. So Taylor one for two on her trip to the line. As here comes Langley pushing up the floor. Three two Carson Newman, 7.34 to go in the first quarter. Screen at the top of the key. Johnson Kelly pulls off back rim and no good. Taylor with the rebound, she'll push it up the floor. Looking far side corner, deflected by Lander and out of bounds. Dangerous pass there by Lindsey Taylor. As a couple subs coming in for the Lander Bearcats. It's Jakia Parker checking in, as well as Tania Gordon as Carter checks out, as well as I believe Santoro. So two subs early on for the Bearcats. Getting into the bench a little bit early. 7.21 to go here in the first quarter. Carson Newman leads 3-2. to two. Backdoor cut by Weichel. She scoops it up and in. Great find by Lindsey Taylor to the cutting Braylon Weichel. And the Eagles lead 5-2. to two. Backcourt pressure by Carson Newman. Johnson Kelly looks to get it over. Weichel comes to help. Now Burgos. Left key. Langley to the corner. Shot is up and no good. I believe that was by Parker to go out of bounds off of Lander. Carson Newman possession. Good defense pressure in the backcourt. Force a contested three by Parker. No good. As Penland inbounds to Weichel. Moving left to right. Weichel will slow it down here. It's been a quick start to this game. Carson Newman shooting 40%, 2 of 5 to start. Weichel top of the key. She'll pull a three. No good off the side of the rim. Here come the Bearcats. It's Gordon pushing. Left corner, now top of the key, Langley. She'll pull the three, it's no good. Rebound goes to Skylar Boshears. Here comes Boshears pushing, finds Rutherford near side corner. Top of the key, Penland drives. Nothing there, kicks back out to Weichel at the top of the key. Eagles reset, 19 on the shot clock. Screen received at the top of the key, it's Taylor who sets it, a mismatch down low now, as Penland has it. Now a deep three from Weichel, no good. Rebound tipped around by Taylor, out of bounds off of Langley. It looked like Penland was trying to find Taylor on that switch, but couldn't quite do so. Deep three from Weichel is no good. The Eagles yet to find the bottom of the net on the three-point shot. 0 for 3 so far. Now inbound pass by Rutherford. Finds Weichel on the left wing. Braylon Weichel drives. Good move, but she's blocked. Taken away by Lander. Here come the Bearcats. Moving left to right is Lander. Langley, nice move inside the paint and a bump. An easy call on Lindsey Taylor. That'll be a foul on the Eagles. 6.01 to go, first personal foul on Carson Newman. As a couple more subs, Ashley Tucker comes in. As well as Amani Melendez. 
So Lander not hesitating to sub early on, and there will be a sub for Carson Newman coming in. Match checking in for Carson Newman is Kaylee McMahon. Top of the key, Lander controls. Near side wing, it's Waikira Johnson Kelly trying to drive on Michael. Great defense by Braylon Michael. Now inside the paint, kick back out. Three is no good off the side of the rim by Gordon. Rebound, Eagles. Here comes Braylon Michael. 5.42 to go in this first half. First quarter, excuse me. Carson Newman leads 5-2. McMahon drives, kicks back out to Weichel. 20 on the shot clock, no rush for the Eagles. Here goes Braylon Weichel. And Aaron shot goes off the backboard, no good. Johnson Kelly pushes for Lander, but she'll slow it down. Receives the screen up top. Now hands it off. A drive by Melendez, kicks it back out. And a travel now called on, I believe that was Tania Gordon. So the turnover for Lander. No points in the last two and a half minutes for the Bearcats. Both teams off to a slow, slow shooting start. Carson Newman, two of eight from the field. Couple subs in for the Eagles. It's Keely Rogers checking in. Michaela Alvey checks in as well. And then Emily Gonzalez into the game for Carson Newman. Five to your score. Five minutes ago, approaching that under five timeout. Weichel has to pick it up at the top of the key. Now Emily Gonzalez, near side wing, pulls a three, no good. Rebound goes to the Bearcats. Good box out right there as now Johnson Kelly will take it up. Here are Johnson Kelly controlling this Lander offense. Slow start for both sides as we're under five minutes of play here in the first quarter. Top of the key, driving is Gordon. Scoop shot is good. Hung around on the top of the rim for a second, but it goes down, Lander within one. Michael hands off to Gonzalez, near side wing. Looking for McMahon down low, trying to get position, turn around jumper, no good off the side of the rim. Here comes Gordon, pushing for Lander. Trailing by one early here in this first quarter. She drives, looking for the kick, finds an open shooter, it's short. Short on the shot was Parker, now a whistle will go out of bounds off of Lander, and that will take us to our first break. Carson Newman leads five to four at the under five timeout here in the first quarter, right here on the Eagles Sports Network. Jefferson City and Morristown wants to help feed your business. When you're hungry at lunch, show your business card at Domino's in Jefferson City and Morristown when you make your purchase for pickup or delivery to get 25% off the entire order. That's 25% off your order at Domino's in Jeff City and Morristown when you show your business card. Call 865-471-6700 to get a pizza. Domino's, the official pizza of the Carson Newman Eagles. Insurance, it's about people, not things. It's about security. It's about confidence. It's about relationships. It's about trust. It's about you. As a local independent agent, Bible Insurance Agency can design an insurance program that's just right for you and your family. Give the people you love safe, sound, secure protection from auto owners insurance. Call Bible Insurance Agency, 423-586-4320. Or go by 1600 East Andrew Johnson Highway in Morristown. 5-4, to four, Carson Newman leads after the media timeout, the first timeout of the night right here on the Eagles Sports Network. Carson Newman leads 5-4, to four, but spotty shooting for both sides so far. The Eagles shooting 25% from the field, Lander just 33%. Here's Braylon Weichel bringing it up for Carson Newman. Hands off to Emily Gonzalez. Think Gonzalez, top of the key. Finds Keely Rogers. Now looking for a handoff here. He finds Weichel at the top of the key. Braylon Weichel. Dribbling around, looking for a shot 13 seconds ago on the shot clock. Gonzalez has it now. Far side wing, feeds to Weichel. Weichel drives baseline, earns some position, and she scores. Braylon Weichel scoops in the layup, scoring her first fourth point of the night. 7-4, Carson Newman out in front. That is now a pass deflected out of bounds by Alvey. Great defense right there as Landry will retain possession near half court. After the timeout, Abby Carter checks back in. She'll inbound. Near side, right in front of the scorer's table. 3.38 to go here in the first quarter. Carson Newman with a three-point advantage. As Langley controls at the top of the key. Feeds it off to Melendez. Melendez now a bounce. Driving is Gordon. Scoop shot is good. Got past Rogers and scored. And Landers starting to find some success inside the paint. 
Dodgers feeds to Alvy far side on the left side wing. Alvy drives, a shot, no good. Good rebound by Rogers, tipped around and taken away. Langley trips, it's tipped out of bounds. Let's see who it will stay with. It'll go to Carson Newman. Stephanie Gailhausen looking for a foul there. Looked like a little bit of contact on Langley as Santoro checks back in, as well as Johnson Kelly. Checking out is Parker and Melendez for Lander. 3.09 to go. Both teams still trying to find their footing here in the early going as it's Michaela Alvey to inbound on the near side. Feeds to Rogers, handoff back to Alvey at the top of the key. A pass is deflected and fighting for it is Gordon. She stays inbounds. Tania Gordon driving, the shot is good, and a blocking foul on Michaela Alvey and one. Nice drive, this takeaway, and then the bucket on the other end of the floor. Tania Gordon scores, and a blocking foul called on Michaela Alvey. So now Lander out in front by one, three of three in the last three shots as Tania Gordon looks to make it a three-point play. Bit of a stoppage here, doesn't mount Gordon on the free throw line. So Lander leads eight to seven. They picked it up as of late, 50% shooting now on four of eight field goals. Carson Newman shot two more shots, but only made three, three of 10 shooting for 30% as Gordon's free throw is no good. A fight for the rebound and a foul call, and I believe that's gonna be on McMahon. Callie McMahon called for the foul on the loose ball. Tonight Gordon with the and one. Couldn't convert on the free throw. So the score sits eight to seven in favor of Lander. A tick under three minutes ago at 2.59 as referees will discuss here. I believe the foul was on. They're gonna give it to, I believe they're gonna give it to Emily Gonzalez there after the foul was initially on McMahon. Now a shot at the elbow by Gordon is no good. Rebound snagged by Alvey, she'll push. Michaela Alvey up the floor, skies into the lane. A shot, no good. Rebound by Gordon. Nice look by Alvey right there. A little pop shot inside the paint, but couldn't get it to fall. Johnson Kelly at the top of the key, working on Alvey. She'll drive, kick out, far side corner. Santoro will take a dribble in, mid-range shot, no good off the front of the rim. Tipped around and the Eagles secure. McMahon secures for Carson Newman. Keely Rogers pushing across, far side half court. Gordon again, good defense this time. She'll tip it out of bounds. Tania Gordon has really been a big impact on the defensive side of the floor. Now a couple new subs in for Carson Newman. It'll be Ashlyn Crittenden and the freshman, Carly Hayward. Crittenden, the sophomore, checks in. Checking out McMahon and Gonzalez. Top of the key. It's Crittenden that controls. Now far side, Rogers. Rogers drives left wing. Nothing there. She'll look to get inside the paint. Now kick out to Hayward. Hayward drives, kicks back out to Crittenden. She walks. Ashley Crittenden took a couple steps on the far side wing and a turnover for Carson Newman. The third of the night for the Eagles. 2.13 to go in the first quarter. Lander leads by one. Lakira Johnson Kelly takes it up for Lander. Slow start for Carson Newman, three of 11 shooting. And Lander's been the aggressors on the defensive end. Drive by Johnson Kelly, kick back out to the top. Errant pass, Santoro gets it back. She'll drive on Alvey. Alvey tight defense on Santoro. She goes back out to the far side corner. Crittenden creates a turnover. Now looks for Rogers and it's taken right back. Tania Gordon with the steal. Heads up play by her as Crittenden tried to give it up to Rogers and now an official stoppage. Looks like they're gonna call a foul here on somebody. Uh, they're making an adjustment on the shot clock here. Number 24 seconds on the shot clock. No foul called there. Just a brief stoppage for the officials to get the clock right. 1.41 to go. 24 seconds on the shot clock. Lander leads 8-7. to seven. And A slow moving first quarter. Both teams still looking to find their footing in terms of getting the ball through the bottom of the net. Far side inbound pass for Waikira Johnson Kelly after they get the clock figured out here. Carson Newman, three turnovers in the last two and a half minutes. That two and a half minutes has been the scoring drought as well for the Eagles. No points in the last 239. Looking to get back on the board here. Top of the key, new sub in for Lander. 
It's Aaliyah Bell checking in. This handoff goes to Gordon. She'll drive on Rogers. Turn around, jump shot, no good off the glass. Rebound snared by Taylor. Here comes Keely Rogers. Left to right go the Eagles as the clock did not move. Once the Eagles got possession back, so another stoppage. Clock sits at 126. We'll see if they adjust it here. Decent crowd, as I mentioned, here in Holt Fieldhouse. So one of two matchups tonight. We'll have another South Atlantic Conference PBC matchup later. Again, the Peach Belt Conference and the South Atlantic Conference crossing over for this Invitational, hosted by Carson Newman of the Lenore Ryan and USC Aiken. Coming up after this game, as we get the clock figured out, look at some of the stats. Carson Newman and Lander have not hit from three quite yet. Lander 0 of 3. Carson Newman 0 of 4. Four turnovers for the Eagles. That's been a storyline here in this first quarter. Half of Lander's points are off turnovers. So four points off turnovers for the Lander Bearcats. Carson Newman is out rebounding the Lander Bearcats 11 to 6 as we will have a brief timeout while we figure out the clock. But while we're here, we'll talk a little bit about this matchup and what it means to both sides. Again, Carson Newman and Lander are both looking to get out to a good start this season. Lander picked to finish seventh in the Peach Belt Conference in the preseason poll. Carson Newman picked to finish second. So we'll see how both these teams go throughout their regular seasons. As we do have a brief issue with the clock, currently getting that figured out. Sits at 126. As we sit right now, the shot clock resets to 30. Carson Newman was bringing up the floor, but the clock did not move, it appears. Talking a little bit about Stephanie Gailhausen in her second season with Lander. She proves the coach at Ashland University had a stellar record, 105 and 15. Lots of coaches had nice things to say about her coming into her tenure at Lander as it is her second season. Didn't go the way they were hoping it to last year, starting the season ranked in the top 10 and then an 8-19 and nineteen up post 5-13 and 13 in the Peach Belt Conference, and not exactly what Lander was looking for. Last season, Carson Newman, 17-12, and 12-6 and six in the South Atlantic Conference. Bringing back a lot of experience this year are the Eagles. Some new freshmen, too. Carly Hayworth in the game right now for the Eagles. Some second-year players as well looking to be contributors. Callie McMahon. Madeline Ladd, we've yet to see her yet, but she can expect to be a contributor this season. Tori Rutherford in the game as well. While this clock situation still gets figured out, we will take a quick break and be right back here on the Eagle Sports Network. Domino's Pizza in Jefferson City and Morristown wants to help feed your business. When you're hungry at lunch, show your business card at Domino's in Jefferson City and Morristown when you make your purchase for pickup or delivery to get 25% off the entire order. That's 25% off your order at Domino's in Jeff City and Morristown when you show your business card. Call 865-471-6700 to get a pizza. Domino's, the official pizza of the Carson Newman Eagles. Insurance, it's about people, not things. It's about security. It's about confidence. It's about relationships. It's about trust. It's about you. As a local independent agent, Bible Insurance Agency can design an insurance program that's just right for you and your family. Give the people you love safe, sound, secure protection from auto owners insurance. Call Bible Insurance Agency, 423-586-4320. Or go by 1600 East Andrew Johnson Highway in Morristown. Still getting the clock worked out here in tonight's matchup between Carson Newman and Lander right here on the Eagles Sports Network. Carson Newman trails 8-7 to seven with 126 to go in the first quarter. We will take a look at the men's matchup out there at UVA Wise taking on Lees McRae in another crossover. It's a conference Carolinas taking on the South Atlantic Conference. Carson Newman trails that one 27-25 for both teams. Hot shooting Carson Newman. Seven of its last seven, shooting 65% in the early going. And Elise McRae, four of its last five. As both teams look to get rolling on the right foot, as we are back ready to go here at Holt Fieldhouse. A brief delay, but the shot clock is figured out. Sits at 24 seconds on the shot clock, as it will be Eagles ball out of the stoppage. Again, Ryan Wilkes with you here on the Eagles Sports Network. Pleasure to have you along with me tonight. 
as an it's an exciting matchup between these two teams. Carson Newman took the matchup last year, 79 to 70, against what was a ranked Lander team. Is now a turnover and a foul on Carson Newman. So the Eagles have been a little careless with the ball here early on. That's the fifth turnover for Carson Newman here in this first quarter. Johnson Kelly crosses half court, eight seven. Lander out in front. Handoff goes back to Kelly. Looking to drive, now Gordon, a pull-up jump shot, no good off the side of the rim. Alvey snares a rebound for the Eagles. Here comes Hayworth, pushing, finds Crittenden open in the corner, but she'll kick it back out to the top for Keely Rogers. Rogers finds Hayworth, near side wins. Hayworth looks to get loose, has to find Alvey in the near side corner. Back to the top, Rogers. Now Hayworth, left wing, kicks near side Alvey. Alvey drives, a pull-up shot in the paint, no good off the back of the rim, rebound goes to the Bearcats, but Alvey fights for it, ties it up, it's a jump ball. We'll go back to Lander. Under a minute to play here in the first quarter, 47.9 seconds to be exact. Carson Newman, some shooting woes continue. Three of 12 from the field, 25% shooting here in the first quarter. As Lander controls, shot clock at 30. Johnson Kelly grabs in the backcourt, Crittenden applying pressure in the backcourt. Now Hayworth comes. She finds a teammate, it's Bell far side and a foul call on Hayworth. So Lander breaking the uh, pressure so far that the Eagles have shown. As they get it across half court, draw a foul. Leah Bell ran into Carly Hayworth. The whistle. 39 and a half seconds left to play here in the first quarter. 22 seconds on the shot clock as Hayworth picks up her first foul. Top of the key. Looking for Johnson Kelly, she'll drive. Gets past Lindsey Taylor and scores. 10 to seven, Lander out in front. As now Hayworth looks to push it across half court. She gets a call from Mike Mincy. Bell defending, 10-7, Lander out in front. 6-0 run for the Bearcats. They trailed seven to four earlier in the first quarter. Hayworth setting it up, 14 seconds. Shot clock, game clock, almost exact as Hayworth drives right into a Bearcat and a charge. Carly Hayworth picks up two quick ones. And Lander will get possession back as Johnson Kelly takes the charge. Perfect positioning from our hero Johnson Kelly as Hayward bowled her over. And now the Bearcats have possession with 10 seconds to go. They can hold for the last shot. Gordon will inbound. Johnson Kelly in the backcourt. Eight seconds. Johnson Kelly crosses the timeline. Now has some space. Corner Santoro pulls a three. No good. Two seconds, one second. And that's how the first quarter will end. Lander takes a 10-7 lead into the first quarter break. Left shooting quarter for the Carson Newman Eagles. Look to get back in the score column on the other side here on the Eagles Sports Network. Got you down? Need a home-cooked meal? Then Lisa's Country Kitchen is for you. Lisa's Country Kitchen has been feeding Carson Newman students for 15 years. Lisa's has a family-friendly atmosphere all day long. From the morning with her $2.99 breakfast special to dinner with Lisa's fresh, never-frozen steaks. Carson Newman students get a 10% discount with their student ID. Lisa's Country Kitchen on Route 92 off Old Andrew Johnson Highway. The best food for the best prices. There's something about a small community that unites us. Whether it's cheering on our favorite team or the way we come together in a fight. Small communities are made up of people with big hearts. We're dedicated to hard work and innovation through sunny days and stormy nights. AEC is always here, powering the people and the places that make our community a spectacular place to call home. AEC, power that matters most. Back at Holt Fieldhouse, Carson Newman trails right here on the Eagles Sports Network, 10 to seven. A 6-0 run for Lander to end that first quarter. Carson Newman's scoring drought lasts over five minutes. So the Eagles have possession out of the quarter break. It's Rutherford who crosses over the timeline, feeds to Weichel. Top of the key, it's Bo Shears. Feeds near side wing, Penland three, no good. Rebound tipped around and secured by Santoro. Here come the Bearcats, 6-0 run, dating back to the first quarter. The Eagles have been cold recently as Johnson Kelly drives, kicks back out. To Langley, now Langley at the top of the key, feeds to Santoro. Santoro drives, trying to go baseline on Weichel, cannot do so. Shot clock under 10, back to the top at Santoro, she'll drive on Weichel, 
And a foul call on Braylon Weichel on the drive by Corey Santoro. I believe that's the first on Braylon Weichel. So she picks one up early here in the second quarter. Bonilla Johnson leads the scoring for Lander. Six points on three, six shooting. Lander created a lot of turnovers in that first quarter, much thanks to Tania Gordon as now Santoro will drive near side wing. Good defense by Braylon Weichel as now the kick goes back to the top. Langley drives, 10 seconds left on the shot clock and the Eagles create a turnover. Here comes Braylon Weichel driving, she'll take it herself. Misses everything on the layup. Santoro secures, Johnson Kelly will push across half. Eagles created an opportunity in transition, still no points off turnovers as Weichel can't find the bottom of the net on that layup. Good move to get open by Johnson Kelly, a jump shot rattles around, no good. Rebound by Penland. 10-7, Lander out in front as Penland has at the top of the key. Drives towards the far side elbow, kick back out to Boshears. Boshears drives baseline, reverse layup is no good. Skyler Boshears misses. An easy one at the rim as kick out. It's Kelly, or Carter, excuse me, near side corner. Now Johnson Kelly controls at the top of the key. She'll try and drive on both shears and a call on Skyler Boshears. As Athira Johnson Kelly drives to the paint. Second foul of the quarter on Carson Newman. Tonight Gordon checks back in. It'll be Corey Santoro to check out. Tonight Gordon has been this lander offense so far. Six of its 10 points have came from Tanaya Gordon, and she's created some turnovers as well. Inbound pass goes to Burgos. Now Langley finds Johnson Kelly. Step back three for Johnson Kelly, no good. Tries to follow her shot, but Penland secures the rebound. Here comes Kemble Penland for Carson Newman. Feed into Taylor. Taylor trying to find something down low. Good move, shot is good, and one. Lindsay Taylor breaks the scoring drought for Carson Newman that lasted over six minutes. Carson Newman back on the board, 10 to nine is the score, Lander still out in front. What a move by Lindsay Taylor to get to the cup, draw the contact and finish the bucket again. Taylor missed 25 games last season. It's good for the Eagles to have her back this year. 10 nine the score, Taylor with the chance to tie it up from the strike. The free throws up and good. A three point play for Lindsay Taylor. We'll see if that can inject some momentum into the Eagles as Langley controls in the backcourt. Weatherford defends. Now Tanaya Gordon crosses across half and she traveled with it. A turnover for Tanaya Gordon and just like that, this crowd comes alive at Holt Fieldhouse as Carson Newman gets possession back all tied up at 10. Rutherford crosses the timeline. 7.51 to go on a rolling clock here in this second quarter. 10 to 10 your score is Looks like Rutherford looking for Taylor down low. It's deflected out of bounds. Carson Newman retains possession. 21 on the shot clock as Rutherford on the near side baseline will inbound. Now a look down low for Penland and another turnover it looks like for Carson Newman as Rutherford was looking for Penland. Penland called for the foul. Sure, head coach Mike Mincy will look to clean up the turnovers in the second half. Seven now for the Eagles in this first half of play. In the backcourt, it's Langley. She finds Melendez, who bounces it towards Tania Gordon. Now a steal, tipped away by Rutherford. Breakaway layup is good. Tori Rutherford creates a turnover, converts on the other end. And now Carson Newman out in front. Rutherford takes it away again and scores. Tori Rutherford back-to-back -back steals and buckets. And Carson Newman on a 7-0 run to take a four-point lead with 7.21 to go here in this first half. 14 to 10 Eagles off back-to-back -back buckets from Tory Rutherford. It looks like we'll have a full timeout, so we'll take a break with them right here on the Eagles Sports Network. Need a home-cooked meal? Then Lisa's Country Kitchen is for you. Lisa's Country Kitchen has been feeding Carson Newman students for 15 years. Lisa's has a family-friendly atmosphere all day long. In the morning with their $2.99 breakfast specials to dinner with Lisa's fresh, never-frozen steaks. Carson Newman students get a 10% discount with their student ID. Lisa's Country Kitchen on Route 92 off Old Andrew Johnson Highway. The best food for the best prices. There's something about a small community that unites us, whether it's cheering on our favorite team 
or the way we come together in this life. Small communities are made up of people with big hearts. We're dedicated to hard work and innovation through sunny days and stormy nights. AEC is always here, powering the people and the places that make our community a spectacular place to call home. AEC, power that matters most. Carson Newman on a 7-0 run here on the Eagle Sports Network. Ryan Wilkes with you. A 4-0 run by herself for Tori Rutherford as the Eagles lead 14-10. Johnson Kelly controls for Lander, moving left to right. Right to left, excuse me. Top of the key, it's Langley. She receives a screen from Burgos. Langley will drive, kick it out. Now a nice move by Carter, but she has it taken away. Rutherford with another steal. That's four turnovers in the past few minutes for Lander. Now down low, it's Boshear. She makes a move off the side of the rim. No good. Tipped around. And off of Johnson Kelly, out of bounds. Tori Rutherford, three steals here in the past two minutes for the Eagles. Carson Newman, three of its last three from the field to take a 14 to 10 advantage. Bounce pass out to Penland, near side wing. Top of the key, it's both shears. Back to her cut by Rutherford, some contact and a foul. Tori Rutherford has been the energizer bunny for this Eagles offense here in the past few minutes. As she'll head back to the line. Two free throws upcoming for Tori Rutherford. She's back to her cut. The foul called there on Imani Melendez. As Tanaya Gordon checks back in. Abby Carter checks out. Gordon and Rutherford have been the two creating offense for these two sides. As Rutherford heads to the strike, first free throw on the way. It's up and good. Tori Rutherford. The sophomore out of Rutledge, Tennessee. Member of the 2022-23 South Carolina Conference All-Freshman Team. She's been the third Lady Eagle rookie in the past four years to earn a spot on the All-Freshman Team as her second free throw up and good. Eagles lead by six. It's an 8-0 run for Carson Newman. Make that 9-0 as good defense in the backcourt by Weichel. Makes Johnson Kelly pick it up. Now Langley gets it, pushes it across the timeline. Right to left she goes. Far side wing, Bo Shears defending. Now Rutherford gets a hand on it again, but Johnson Kelly maintains possession. Melendez looking to drive, trying to work on the pass to Rutherford. Down low to Burgos, tries to turn around on Taylor Tanak. Top of the key, it's Johnson Kelly, five seconds on the shot clock. She'll try to scoop it up and in. Top shot by Wakira Johnson Kelly as she scores to get Lander back on the board, breaking a 9-0 Eagle drop. Weichel now driving past the free throw line, goes off for a leg and out of bounds. Braylon Weichel turns it over. As Lander gets it back with 6.08 to go here in the first half. 16 to 12, Carson Newman out in front as two new subs check in. It's Jakia Parker and Ashley Tucker checking in. Looks like Melendez and Burgos out. Near side, Johnson Kelly controls right in front of the scorer's table. Eagles up by four. Six minutes on the dot to go here in this second quarter as Rutherford all the way out near half court defending and this time she'll be whistled for a foul as Johnson Kelly got past her. 5.55 to go. Tori Rutherford has had herself a quarter. Two for three from the field. Two of two from the line. Good for him. six points on the night. Leading the Eagles in scoring so far. Not going to get it in. There's Johnson Kelly. Hand off back to her. Johnson Kelly at the top of the key controls. Looking to drive on Brandon Michael. Now a hand off to Gordon. Gordon drives on both here. Free throw line jumper is blocked. Taken away by Carson Newman. Here comes Rutherford. Rutherford passes to Weichel. Weichel drives baseline. Scoops it up. No good. It's blocked by Lander. Good defense by the Bearcats as Johnson Kelly drives across half. Finds Langley. Right in front of Carson Newman bench. Kick back out. Three by Parker. Rattles around. No good. Still no threes for either side. As Bo Shears pushes across half court. She'll drive. Goes off, out of bounds by Carson Newman, another turnover. Eagles have had a fair share of turnovers here in this first half. As Ruthie and Bugwell will check in for the first time, Lindsey Taylor checks out. And Bugwell, the redshirt sophomore, standing at six foot four out of Danville, Kentucky. It's her first minutes of the night. As we're getting ready to approach the under five media timeout, sitting at 5'11". Johnson Kelly gets away with a little push off right there on Tori Rutherford. No whistle as Johnson Kelly has it far side corner. 
Though she is defending her, Kiyaki Kelly picks up her dribble, finds Laney at the top of the key. Laney receives a screen from Gordon, but deflects it, now drives on Rutherford. Tries to find an open Bearcat, but Kanawa is taken away by Penlin, but taken right back by the Bearcats. Top of the key is Tanaya Gordon, hands off to Johnson Kelly, and Lander will slow it down, now a whistle. Official whistles, the shot clock reset. I don't think it was supposed to right there. Shot clock sits at 28 seconds. As Carson Newman will get ready to send a new sub in the game. It'll be Madeline Ladd, the freshman out of Harriman, Tennessee, checking in for Skylar Beauchier. So 4.43, we might have already had a media timeout when Lander whistles for one. As the clock sits at 4.43 to go here in this first half. Langley hands off to Bell. Top of the key, it's Gordon driving on Penland. Corner open three for Langley, and it's no good. Way off to the left. It's an air ball. As now a lad driving baseline. The freshman getting it for the first time receives a screen from Mbugwa. Back to the top of the key, it's Weifel. Weifel corner for Ladd. Ladd's three is no good off the side of the rim as the rebound is secured by Tucker. Both teams ice cold from three-point land. Combined 0 of 9, Lander 0 of 5, Carson Newman 0 of 4. Bell drives on Rutherford and she walked with it. Travel called on Aaliyah Bell. As now Michaela Alvey will check back in. Lots of turnovers for both sides. A combined 18 here in this first half. Eight by Lander, 10 by Carson Newman. As Ladd will go to the far side baseline and inbound. Carson Newman moving left to right, 404 left to go. Here in this first half, Eagles lead 16 to 12. Weichel controls, hands off to Ladd. It's deflected out of bounds by Gordon and out of bounds. Throwing for Carson Newman right in front of the scorer's table. Coming up at halftime, we'll discuss all the first half stats on the halftime show. But right now, still got 3.53 left to play. Carson Newman looking to extend its lead over Lander as Ladd controls at the top of the key. Finds Alvey at the top. Weichel receives a screen, she'll dribble back to the top. Lander being very aggressive defensively as Mbuga grabs it down low and a foul called on the Bearcats. That's on Langley. Her second personal foul as she'll check out. Wakira Johnson Kelly back in. Aggressive play both ways. Lander couldn't do much there with the six foot four in Bugwa. As Langley tried to dig down but calling for the foul. Michael near side baseline will inbound. Finds Campbell Penland near side. Wing, it's good. First three of the night for either side comes from Campbell Penland as the Eagles now lead 19 to 12. Gordon receives it, crosses the timeline, trips up, no travel called. As Gordon sets the screen for Johnson Kelly. Kelly working on Penland, now to the top, Bell drives on Weichel. Aliyah Bell, hands off to Jakia Parker. Parker drives on the freshman lad. She goes down to the hard one, fighting for the ball here, and a travel call on. Let me see who that is right there that was dribbling in the paint. It was Jakia Parker called for the walk, turning over on her backside as Gordon will check out back in as Abby Carter. Eagles have turned up the heat here in the second quarter. Still shooting just seven of 22 from the field. They've created a fair amount of turnovers, nine points off turnovers, all coming here in this second quarter. Aaliyah Bell defending Braylon Michael in the backcourt and a foul called on Bell with 3.07 to go in this first half. Eagles lead by seven, trailed by three after the first quarter. Outscoring Lander by 10 since the first quarter break. Michael receives the inbound from Ladd. In the backcourt, she crosses over the timeline. Pass goes to Alvey, far side win. Now Ladd controls at the top, finds Penland. Far side win, she drives. Pulls it back out, but now Penland will pull the three, no good, and Bugla snares the rebound, puts it up and in. Ruthie and Bugla for two on the second chance opportunity, and Carson Newman's lead balloons to nine. Johnson Kelly far side defended by Alvey. This crowd has come alive here in the second quarter as Johnson Kelly drives lots of contact. They're gonna call a jump ball as Alvey got a piece of that one. 
And possession goes back to Carson Newman. Actually gonna say it'll be a lander to keep possession. As Rutherford checks back in for Weichel who checks out for the first time. Santoro and Gordon back in, Carter and Parker check out. 2.34 to go, Carson Newman leads this one 21 to 12. As Bell will inbound, far side corner is Gordon. Gordon makes a move on Ladd, gets loose, mid-range jump shot is good. Big shot there, Carson Newman now on a 14 to four run after the two point basket by Gordon. Rutherford pushes across half, hands off to Penland. Ladd far side the top of the key, feeds in Bootwood down low, hook shot, rattles around no good, tipped around off of Carson Newman. It'll be Landers possession. Good looking shot from Mbugwa right there. As now a new sub comes in, actually it's Carter back in, checking in for Tucker. Seven point lead for Carson Newman, 2.14 to go here in the first half. Bell controls in the backcourt. Alvey defending, now it's Rutherford that comes up. Kick ball called on her. Corey Rutherford has been active on the defensive end. Three steals for Rutherford. As Keely Rogers checks in, Penland checks out. The Eagles have overcome a tough shooting half with good defense creating points off turnovers. As Johnson Kelly moves across half court, feeds to the top for Bell. She'll pull a deep three, it's good. Aliyah Bell's first points come on the three ball. That's Lander's first three of the night. As Keely Rogers pushes across midcourt. 21-17, Eagles out in front. As Rogers drives, hands off to Ladd. Ladd near side wing. It feeds to the top for Rogers. She receives a screen from Mbula, goes the other way. Down low spins, fed inside to Alvey, it's blocked. Bell grabs a rebound, tied up, it's a jump ball. Carson Newman will keep possession. Good defense by Lander right there to get the block. As it was Alvey to drive down low and rejected, I believe, by Johnson Kelly. And Bugla checks out, good minutes from her, missed that inside shot. She's one for two on the night. As it'll be Taylor to check back in. As Burgos makes a corresponding substitution, checks in. As now the pass back out to the near side room, deflected out of bounds by Lander. Carson Newman will do it again. 1.36 to go in the first half, 21-17 your score. Now a pass, far side wing, deflected, taken away by Lander. Here comes Gordon. She'll drive, kick out to Bell, free throw line. She'll kick it back out to Johnson Kelly, who will pull the three. No good off the far side of the backboard. Tipped down of bounds by Lander as Carson Newman retains possession and will get possession back with 1.20 to go. Rogers far side looking to inbound to Rutherford. Bell defending in the backcourt. 1.17 in the moving clock here in this first half. Carson Newman leads 21-17. Near side, it's Alvey who controls. Alvey tries to drive good defense and a jump ball tied up by Santoro. And she denies Alvey trying to go to the paint. 107 to go, Lander will get possession back. After Santoro ties it up. Good defense on Alvey who was looking to drive right there. Brief stoppage as the official gets the ball back. Burgos will inbound right in front of the Lander bench. Good response from Lander. As Carson Newman had a 14 to two run going. No points in the last two minutes for the Eagles as Johnson Kelly hands off far side Bell. Santoro at the top gives it to Gordon. Gordon drives, looking for a shot floater, no good. Rebound by Alvey. Under a minute to play here in the first half, 52 seconds in a rolling clock as Alvey pushes. Far side Ladd tries to drive baseline. She's turned back towards the paint. A little shot inside the paint, no good. Taylor grabs her rebound, hook shot is good. Lindsey Taylor uses her left hand and scores. Carson Newman back in front by six. Johnson Kelly crossing midcourt as Alvey deflects it from behind. Hit her arm as well, so a foul call with about 36 ticks to go here in this first half. Carson Newman leads by six. And Bugla set to check back in for Carson Newman. Lindsey Taylor checks out. 23-17 the score. Free throws coming from Johnson Kelly on the Eagles' 15th foul of the quarter. Akira Johnson Kelly has had herself a nice night so far. As she'll put up the first free throw, it's no good. 
Dylan Weichel will check back in on the next whistle. Johnson Kelly set to take the second free throw. It's up and good. Timeout, actually substitution as Weichel checks in for Rutherford. 35.7 left to go here in this first half. Carson Newman leads by five. Weichel in the backcourt controls, Bell defending. Braylon Weichel on the preseason South Atlanta Conference first team. Looks for something here, 20 ticks to go on the shot clock. Weichel receives near the top of the key, makes a move on Bell, step back, jump shot is good. Braylon Weichel scores to push Carson Newman's lead back out to seven. Weichel's sixth point of the night. Three of eight shooting, eight seconds to go. Johnson Kelly crosses the timeline. Feeds to Bell, Bell drives on Mbugwa, floater no good, and Mbugwa grabs a rebound, and that's how this first half will end. Carson Newman uses a big second quarter to get back out in front, leading by 7, 25 to 18 at the break. We'll be right back with the halftime show right here on the Eagle Sports Network. We love to cheer for our home teams, like the Eagles. It means more when we're rooting for the people we know. Did you know Trilight is your home team internet provider? We're right here in Jefferson City, serving the people we know with our ultra-fast, ultra-reliable fiber broadband network. And we'd love to serve you. Learn more at trilight.net or by calling 833-847-0824. Go Eagles! How do you know you're in a community, not just a town? Well, strangers smile as they walk by. They refill your coffee without you asking. And when you ask directions, people offer to walk you there. Communities give more. The way you know when you walk into First Bank that you are in a real community bank. Great products, direct access to your local bankers, and relationships that can last a lifetime. Don't just have an account. Have a community with First Bank. Member FDIC. Back here at Holt Fieldhouse, Carson Newman leads at the break over Lander and scores right here on the Eagles Sports Network. How do you show your support for Carson Newman? Head over to ShopSeenEagles.com right now where they have all of your needs covered. From clothing to outfitting your tailgate party, whether you're hunting, fishing, or on the golf course, ShopSeenEagles.com is the place for you. All of your everyday essentials, from pens to phone chargers, are in one place. For the best gear in the business, visit ShopSeaEagles.com today. At InterDigital, we strive to be a leading provider of cutting-edge digital and marketing solutions. At InterDigital, we want to help our clients find success. Our team of technology gurus work together to ensure InterDigital continues to progress forward as technology advances. At InterDigital, we make technology work for you. Visit InterDigital.com for IT support, web development, virtual tours, graphic design, internet marketing, mobile app, and film production services. InterDigital, laser focused on your success. It's halftime. We'll head back to the arena for the ShopCNEagles.com halftime report in just 60 seconds on the Eagle Sports Network. Serving East Tennessee for 40 years, Magaha Electric is the perfect choice for all your electrical projects. Magaha Electric specializes in commercial, retail, manufacturing, residential, and industrial contracting needs. Magaha Electric can provide superior service, technical know-how, and realistic budgeting for any size project in a timely, cost-effective manner. Visit MagahaElectric.com for all your electrical contracting needs. Magaha Electric, your East Tennessee electrical contracting source. There's something about a small community that unites us, whether it's cheering on our favorite team or the way we come together in a crisis. Small communities are made up of people with big hearts. We're dedicated to hard work and innovation through sunny days and stormy nights. AEC is always here, powering the people and the places that make our community a spectacular place to call home. AEC, power what matters most. Brian Wilkes back with you here on the Eagles Sports Network as we take a look at the ShopCNEagles.com South Atlantic Conference scoreboard. Eagles fans, remember ShopCNEagles.com is your home of Carson Newman Athletics official online store. ShopCNEagles.com 
features more than 1,100 products from t-shirts and polos to phone skins and pet collars. ShopSeenEagles.com, the official online store of the Carson Newman Eagles. So looking around the South Atlanta Conference on Friday, on Friday, November 3rd, in the D2 CCA tip-off classic Lincoln Memorial fell to Lubbock Christian Academy 89 to 71, but they did take a win the next day, 92 to 80 over Illinois Springfield. Mars Hill falls to Converse on Friday. Wingate takes down Belmont Abbey in the Kyle Honor Memorial Tip-Off Challenge, 77 to 74. And then Tusculum takes down Lander, 83 to 77. Lincoln Memorial wins again over UNC Pembroke, 71 to 69. Exciting match between Anderson and Flagler. That one ended 118 to 112 in favor of the Anderson Trojans. Looking at some of the other scores today, Mars Hill and Belmont Abbey squared off. That's on the men's side. Take a look at the women here in a moment. As women's basketball just getting underway here at Carson Newman. The Eagles lead this one 25 to 18 at the break. Take a look at the women here in a moment. As again, Carson Newman picked to finish second in the South Carolina Conference. We'll take a look at some of those teams and how they panned out today. And here recently is. A lot of teams just getting their seasons rolling. On Friday, Anderson took down Flagler 82 to 63. UVA Wise defeats Clayton State in overtime 69 to 64. Belmont Abbey takes down at Mars Hill 73 to 48 in the South Atlantic Conference, the Conference Carolinas Challenge. Lincoln Memorial defeats Converse 63 to 60. Emory and Henry takes down Southern Wesleyan 74 to 51. North Greenville takes down Newberry. 67 to 54. UVA Wise falls to Flagler earlier today. UNC Pembroke takes down Coker. And that's some of the scoreboard updates we have for you right now. We'll take you through some of the others coming up as we'll take one more break and be right back here on the Eagle Sports Network. When you're sick and tired of fast food and need a fresh home cooked meal, turn to Lisa's Country Kitchen. Lisa's been cooking up her fresh, never frozen food for the Lakeway area for more than 15 years. Lisa's cares about her customers. You may enter a stranger, but you'll leave a friend. From footlong hot dogs to juicy steaks, Lisa's has the best food for the best prices. Lisa's Country Kitchen on Route 92 off Old Andrew Johnson Highway. The best food for the best prices. There's something about a small community that unites us, whether it's cheering on our favorite team or the way we come together in a crisis. Small communities are made up of people with big hearts. We're dedicated to hard work and innovation through sunny days and stormy nights. AEC is always here, powering the people and the places that make our community a spectacular place to call home. AEC, power what matters most. This is Carson Newman basketball. Into the front court, loses her dribble, kicks it out, right wing, three from Bergstrom, is up and good. As the buzzer sounds to end the first half. On the Eagle Sports Network. This is Carson Newman men's basketball alum Taylor Hawkins. I want to help your family secure its financial future. I'm with Modern Woodman Financial Planning, where we touch lives and secure futures. Let Modern Woodman protect your family's financial security through life insurance, retirement planning, and financial services. You can contact me, Taylor Hawkins, at cneagles.com forward slash modern woodman. That's cneagles.com forward slash Modern Woodman. Help secure your family's financial future through Modern Woodman Financial Planning. How do you know you're in a community, not just a town? Well, strangers smile as they walk by. They refill your coffee without you asking. And when you ask directions, people offer to walk you there. Communities give more. The way you know when you walk into First Bank that you are in a real community bank. Great products, direct access to your local bankers, and relationships that can last a lifetime. Don't just have an account. Have a community with First Bank. Member FDIC.
Welcome back to Carson Newman Women's Basketball right here on the Eagles Sports Network. As the Eagles lead 25 to 18 at the break, we'll go over some more of those first half scoring notes before we get back underway here in the second. Again, Carson Newman trailing 10 to seven at the first quarter break, have brought it back here in the second quarter to lead 25 to 18 over the Lander Bearcats. It's been an aggressive first half for both sides as we'll take a look at some of those first half stats. Talked about some of them earlier. Tori Rutherford kicked off. It was a big run for the Eagles to get back out in front. She got six points of her own, two steals that led to back-to-back -back buckets for her to put Carson Newman out in front of the Lander Bearcats. Lindsey Taylor's established her presence down low, two of four from the field, two of three from the line. She's went there a couple of times. Seven rebounds for Taylor in the first half. In a half that Carson Newman is out rebounding Lander by 10, 24 to 14. Now three and a half minutes to go before we get the second half underway. So talk about Lander a little bit, 33% from the line, only three attempts for the Bearcats shooting one of three. Again, 22 turnovers between the two sides. That's something both Stephanie Galehausen and Mike Mincy will look for their teams to clean up heading into the second half of action. Again, it's a sack, Peach Belt Challenge here at Carson Newman at Hope Fieldhouse. The Eagles taking on the Lander Bearcats and then later this evening, it'll be Lenora Ryan of the South Atlantic Conference taking on USC Aiken. Carson Newman will see USC Aiken tomorrow, so I'm sure some of the Eagles will stick around to see what happens with that game. Looking at some more of these stats, combine the two teams, two of 14 from three point range, one of seven from three at both sides. Pretty even shooting between the two. Carson Newman shot five more shots, but shooting 10 to 29 from the field, 34% on the night. And Lander, eight of 24, 33% from the field on the night as well. So we're gonna take one more break, about two minutes to go before we get ready for this second half. We'll take one more break, and then we'll have your second half of action right here on the Eagles Sports Network. If you're sick and tired of fast food and need a fresh home-cooked meal, Turn to Lisa's Country Kitchen. Lisa's been cooking up her fresh, never frozen food for the Lakeway area for more than 15 years. Lisa's cares about her customers. You may enter a stranger, but you'll leave a friend. From footlong hot dogs to juicy steaks, Lisa's has the best food for the best prices. Lisa's Country Kitchen on Route 92 off Old Andrew Johnson Highway. The best food for the best prices. There's something about a small community that unites us. Whether it's cheering on our favorite team or the way we come together in a crisis. Small communities are made up of people with big hearts. We're dedicated to hard work and innovation through sunny days and stormy nights. AEC is always here, powering the people and the places that make our community a spectacular place to call home. AEC, power what matters most. This is Carson Newman basketball. Into the front court, loses her dribble, kicks it out, right wing, three from Bergstrom, is up and good! As the buzzer sounds to end the first half. On the Eagle Sports Network. This is Carson Newman men's basketball alum Taylor Hawkins. I want to help your family secure its financial future. I'm with Modern Woodman Financial Planning, where we touch lives and secure futures. Let Modern Woodman protect your family's financial security through life insurance, retirement planning, and financial services. You can contact me, Taylor Hawkins, at cneagles.com forward slash modern woodman. That's cneagles.com forward slash Modern Woodman. Help secure your family's financial future through Modern Woodman Financial Planning. How do you know you're in a community, not just a town? Well, strangers smile as they walk by. They refill it. Getting ready to go for the second half of play. Ryan Wilkes with you here on the Eagle Sports Network as Carson Newman leads 25 to 18. We're getting ready to go. Eagles using that big second quarter outscoring Lander 18 to eight to get back in the scoring column and really turn the heat of this matchup up a notch. Again, these two teams kicked off the season last year when Lander was ranked number 10 in the country. And now Carson Newman took them down last season 79 to 70. We're gonna do something similar here tonight as Carson Newman has possession out of the break. Top of the key, it's Bo Shears, feeds 
Near side wing for Penland. Back to the top, Lindsey Taylor. Far side, Skylar Boshears. Feast to the top for Weichel. Wide open three for Braylon Weichel. No good off the back heel. Tipped around, and the rebound is secured by Rutherford. Offensive rebound for Carson Newman. Second chance coming up. As Weichel controls at the top of the key. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Far side feed. Penland open three. No good. Rebound this time by Burgos of Lander. Here comes Wakira Johnson Kelly. She had herself a nice first half. Eight points for her on three of four shooting as the handoff goes to Langley. The freshman of the year last year in the Peach Belt Conference feeds near side wing. Santoro three is good. Corey Santoro for three. Second three of the night for the Bearcats. As Rutherford will push the other direction. This half Carson Newman left to right. Right to left. Lander moving left to right. Nice move by Taylor down low. She loses a handle on it. Going to turnover. 13th turnover of the night for Carson Newman. As Lander will get possession back, trailing by just four. Good start for the Bearcats. Out of the break, the three-pointer by Santoro. Get them back on the scoreboard. Carson Newman now one of nine from three, shooting just 11%. As Johnson Kelly crosses the timeline, Boshear's defense. 8.48 and a moving clock to go here in this third quarter of action. As Santoro will drive past Rutherford down low. In the paint, tries to make a move. Good defense by Rutherford. Kick back out to Johnson Kelly. Burgos fighting for a position on Taylor, can't get it. And Johnson Kelly will drive, four seconds on the shot clock. Driving is Langley, step back jumper, glass no good. And it'll be a shot clock violation on the Lander Bearcats. Good defense by Carson Newman. As Eagles regain possession. Carson Newman has the ball, Tory Rutherford will bring it up for the Eagles. Tight defense by Johnson Kelly. Top of the key, it's Penland. Penland feeds down low. Taylor, nice pick and roll action, and she scores. <laughs> Lindsey Taylor for two. As now feed up the floor to Burgos. Good job by Taylor to get back. As it's fed back out to Johnson Kelly. Johnson Kelly looking for a screen, receives one from Penland. She reject, rejects it, drives baseline, and a foul called on Rutherford. Nice drive by Wakira Johnson Kelly. As a foul is called on to Rutherford. Her second foul of the night. As Johnson Kelly will get free throws. 27 to 21, Eagles out in front with under eight minutes to play here in this third quarter. As Johnson Kelly steps to the line, first free throw, up and no good. One of four shooting now from the line for Lander, leaving some three points out there on the Bearcats. And a matchup with Carson Newman. You want to get those when you get to the line. As Johnson Kelly will step back up to the free throw line. Looking to go one of two. Here's the second free throw on the way. It's good. 27-22 Eagles out in front. As here comes Tori Rutherford. Right to left she goes. Johnson Kelly tight defense as Rutherford crosses half. Nice move to spin away. Tries to feed it down low. Deflected by Burgos. Here comes Langley. She'll drive. Looks for Burgos, but kicks it back out. Now a far side swing to Johnson Kelly. Thinks about three. But decides not to as now Santoro will drive. A whistle and a charge. Good job by Rutherford to step in and take it on the drive by Santoro as Carson Newman gets possession back. Here comes Tanaya Gordon checking back in on the next whistle. And she'll come in right now. Tonight, Gordon checks in for Corey Santoro. 27-22, Carson Newman out in front. Seven and a half left to play here in the third quarter. Here comes Tory Rutherford. Tight defense again by Johnson Kelly in the backcourt. Rutherford able to get across the timeline using her body to spin away from the tight defending Johnson Kelly. Now Rutherford receives a screen from Penland. Looking for Weichel back door. Passes tip. Now Weichel with two up. Taylor and she's fouled by Gordon. Great action by Braylon Weichel on the baseline. The pass was tipped. She couldn't get a clean look at it, so she feeds to her teammate Lindsay Taylor down low, who will go back to the line for her fourth and fifth free throw attempts. Taylor can be the first Eagle to get into double digits if she nets both right here. The first one up and no good. So Taylor misses the first free throw. But she'll have one more at the line. Bounces it a couple times, puts it up, 
Rattles around, no good. So 0 for 2 at the line by Lindsey Taylor. As the score stays, 27 to 22. Johnson Kelly crosses the timeline, feeds to Langley. Pass goes to Tania Gordon. She dribbles into the paint, tight defense by Weichel. Pass back out to the top. Langley thinks about three. This time she'll pull it, and it's good. Quadasia Langley from three. As Lander's starting to heat up from behind the arc here in half number two. As Weichel has on the far side wing, now Penland will drive baseline. Tries to get position, she does as the foul is called on Carter. And back to the line go the Eagles. Nice shot by Penland to use her body to shield off Carter. Had to reach over the top of her. Now, as now Carter will check out. Jakia Parker checks in. A graduate, played 26 games last year, starting 22 for the Bearcats, 9.1 points per game. For uh, Jakia Parker out of Augusta, Georgia, as Penland's first free throw is good. Campbell Penland, now four points on the night. 15 minutes of action. And she'll step back to the line for one more. Second free throw, no good off the back of the rim. Gordon retrieves the rebound. Carson Newman's lead is three. 28-25, six and a half left to play here in the third quarter. Johnson Kelly perusing the top of the key. Thinks about a drive. And now hands off to Tania Gordon. Gordon drives on both shears. And a foul called on the drive. See who this one is on. Going to give it to Skylar Bowshears. Nice drive by Gordon. Looks like the foul there might have been on another eagle. But nonetheless, it's called on Skylar Bowshears. Is a feed to the near side wing for Parker. Parker the elbow. Gordon looking to drive. Steps back out. Now drives on Bowshears. Gets position. Scoops it up and in. Plus the contact. Tanaya Gordon. Now with 10 points till the night, the first scorer to reach double digits. As she will head to the line, an opportunity to tie the game. Here comes Keeley Rogers checking in for Skylar Boshears. Tania Gordon now with a chance to make this a tie ball game as Lander has came out in this third quarter and been the aggressors. 6.20 to go. In this third quarter of play as Gordon spins it, puts it up. No good off the back iron. Now Lander, two or six from the line. As Campbell Penland near side wing, short drive, lots of contact, no call. Penland keeps it in bounds. Rogers feeds into Taylor. Taylor goes up, and now a foul called right in front of the scorer's table as Taylor took it up strong, and the foul is called on Lander. The foul called on Burgos as Taylor will head back to the line. Aliyah Bell checks back in for Quadasia Landing. As Taylor heads to the line for two free throws. Two of five from the line tonight is the first one up and no good. Both teams struggling from the line a little bit tonight. Carson Newman now shooting 50% at five of 10. Taylor with one more to come. Second free throw, that was it. So Lindsey Taylor now with nine points on the night. As pressure in the backcourt from Rutherford. Johnson Kelly tries to get past her. Now Rogers picks her up. Johnson Kelly dances around the top of the key, feeds to Bell. Bell drives towards the free throw line, hands it off to Parker. Parker bounces it back out to Kelly, driving on Rogers, kicks out to Bell. Pump fakes on the mid range, good defense by Weichel, seven seconds on the shot clock. Bell drives, feeds to Burgos, mid range shot. Hits every side of the rim, no good. Now on the box out, Campbell Penland called for a foul. As that will be the fourth team foul of the quarter on Carson Newman. On that box out right there, it looks like Penland got a piece of Gordon and the foul is called. Out, checking out is Rutherford, back in is Alvey. As Wakira Johnson Kelly will inbound on the baseline. 5.37 to go. Burgos receives the inbound pass with a deflection from Taylor, but now it's Bell. Top of the key, Braylon Weichel defending. Five and a half to go. Carson Newman's lead has been cut to two after leading by seven and a half. Johnson Kelly drives. Her mid-range shot is blocked. Tipped around, deflected off the back of Taylor, and it goes out of bounds. Lander retains possession. That shot did not hit the rim, so the shot clock sits at four. Here comes Ashley Tucker checking in for Burgos as Lander decides to go with a little bit of small ball here. Tucker a forward, but not as tall as Burgos standing at 5'10". 
Four seconds on the clock, Bell inbounds to Gordon. Near side corner three, no good off the front of the rim. The smallest player on the court, Bell grabs a rebound, kicks to Parker. The next three off the back rim, no good. Tipped around, and the Eagles this time able to secure the rebound. Here comes Braylon Weichel, feeds far side wing, Campbell Penland. Feeds into Taylor. The hook, no good, as the rebound goes off the leg of Parker, but she's able to retain it. Now Johnson Kelly in the backcourt will bring it up for Carson Newman. The Eagles on a bit of a scoring drought from the field. No field goals in the last three and a half minutes. It's now far side elbow. It's Tucker. Feeds back out to Gordon. Gordon at the top of the key. Johnson Kelly now near side win. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Lander looking for a shot here. Fed to the top of the key for Parker. Step back three is no good. Doesn't find any part of the rim as it goes out of bounds, and that will send us to the second quarter immediate timeout. So the Eagles lead by two after leading by seven at the break. So Lander fighting back here in this second half. We'll be right back on the other side right here on the Eagle Sports Network. unites us, whether it's cheering on our favorite team or the way we come together in a crisis. Small communities are made up of people with big hearts. We're dedicated to hard work and innovation through sunny days and stormy nights. AEC is always here, powering the people and the places that make our community a spectacular place to call home. AEC, power what matters most. This is Carson Newman, men's basketball alum, Taylor Hawkins. I want to help your family secure its financial future. I'm with Modern Woodman Financial Planning, where we touch lives and secure futures. Let Modern Woodman protect your family's financial security through life insurance, retirement planning, and financial services. You can contact me, Taylor Hawkins, at cneagles.com forward slash modern woodman. That's cneagles.com forward slash Modern Woodman. Help secure your family's financial future through Modern Woodman Financial Planning. Carson Newman still out in front by two, but Lander off to a 9-4 to four run to start this second half. As we're getting back ready to get underway, it'll be Carson Newman to control in the backcourt. It's Braylon Weichel. Aaliyah Bell defending her. As Weichel crosses the timeline. Hand off to Campbell Penland. So now it's Keeley Rogers near side. Weichel far side win. She'll feed to Penland. Deep three for Campbell. Penland is good. Penland from deep makes it a five point game in favor of the Eagles. In the backcourt is Johnson Kelly defended tightly by Penland. Now a feed far side across the court. Looked like Parker thought about a three there but did not take it. It's now Bell at the top of the key. Hands off to Johnson Kelly. 12 on the shot clock. As now she'll drive. Scoop shot is good. But they're going to call a charge. Michaela Alvey stepped in to take the charge. And it will go the other way. I believe the foul was calling Johnson Kelly on the drive. As now in the backcourt it's Braylon Weichel. She'll feed near side wing for Alvey. And Bougar recently checked in. She has it. Now top of the key, Penland. Another deep three. Dials it up. No good. Off the front of the rim. There's now Johnson Kelly will push. A feed down low. Tipped around but retained by Lander. Parker feeds to Bell. Deep three is good. Aliyah Bell from long range. And both these teams starting to find it from distance as Lander back within two. Michael hands off to Alvey, perusing the top of the key, deflected, but found, finds Campbell Penland. Penland finds Weichel back to her cut. Scoop shot, no good. Rebound grabbed by Johnson Kelly. Eagles lead 32 to 30, but Lander has fought back here in this third quarter. Near side, Gordon in the corner. She'll drive on the Mbugwa, reverse layup, no good. As Rogers grabs the rebound. Keely Rogers crossing, and Booger trying to get open down low, but now it's Weichel at the top of the key. 
Ellen Weichel finds Keely Rogers. Now Alvy far side corner. She'll pull a three and it's in. Michaela Alvy from deep. And as I mentioned, both these teams starting to heat up from long range. Carson Newman's third of the night to push the lead back out to five. Jakia Parker near side corner. 21 seconds on the shot clock. She'll pull the three. And that one is good. Lander answering Carson Newman back-to-back -back threes for the teams as Rogers looks to get it into Weichel. She's able to with the smaller bell defending. Braylon Weichel moving right to left. 156 to go. And now a foul called on Bell right near the timeline as she's called. The oversized Weichel on the smaller bell able to draw the foul as Burgos, Langley, and Melendez will check back in. Bell, Tucker, and Parker check out. 1.53 to go here in this third quarter as Braylon Weichel will head to the line, the fifth team foul of the quarter on the Lander Bearcats. Braylon Weichel getting her first free throws of the night. Puts the first one up and in. Braylon Weichel, not exactly the performance that you'll come to expect from her. Three of 10 shooting so far tonight as the second free throw is good. 37, 33, Eagles out in front as Johnson Kelly controls in the back for Emily Gonzalez, who checked in on a timeout, defending now a foul called. I'm wondering if they're gonna call that on Weichel or Gonzalez as Johnson Kelly tripped up, crossing midcourt, will be called on Gonzalez, and now it's two free throws for Lander. Hasn't been a strong point for the Lander Bearcats in the free throw line, but we'll get two right here with a chance to cut the Carson Newman lead back to two. 37-33, minute 48 to go. Here in the third quarter of action. As Johnson Kelly spins it, puts up the first free throw, and it's in. 37-34, Johnson Kelly with one more on the way. Carson Newman out in front by three. The second free throw from Johnson Kelly is off the side of the rim, no good, but Gordon with the far side rebound. Johnson Kelly now at the top of the key, and a whistle as the shot clock will move to 18 seconds. No foul called there, just a quick clock fix. As on the baseline, it'll be Lander to inbound. Inbound goes into Langley. Gordon looking to drive. She'll turn around and pull a mid-range jump shot. No good, good defense by Campbell Penland as she grabs a rebound. Penland crosses across half court. Beats Emily Gonzalez on the far side. Gonzalez feeds near side wing to Weichel. Weichel now kicks to Penland. 14 seconds on the clock as Penland looking for Rogers, tipped away by Burgos, and Lander takes it away. Here comes Langley at the top of the key. Now feeds to Melendez who drives and has it taken away. Campbell Penland creates a turnover. Now Alvey receives the pass up court. Pull up mid-range jump shot, rattles around no good. Rogers with the rebound and she's fouled. Good job by Keely Rogers on the glass to gain position and force a contact. With exactly one minute to go, Keely Rogers will step to the line as Ashley Tucker and Abby Carter check in for Burgos and Tanaya Gordon. 37-34 Eagles as Rogers steps to the free throw line. First one is up and good. Eagles out rebounding Lander 35 to 23. That's been a focal point of this game. As Rogers gets one right there and forces some free throws as she puts a second one up and in. Substitute coming in for the Bearcats. It'll be Bell to check in for Johnson Kelly. Johnson Kelly has been a focal point of this Lander offense. 10 points on the night of three or four shooting. Three is six from the line. As Bell has in the backcourt feeds to Langley. Berlin Michael, tight defense in the backcourt on Langley. Bounce pass Bell, crossing the timeline. Emily Gonzalez defending. 48 seconds to go here in the third quarter. 15 seconds on the shot clock, so the Eagles will likely have the last shot of this third quarter. As Bell drives, kicks, it's Carter. Now top of the key, Langley, five to shoot. Langley drives, step back mid-range jump shot. Rattles around, no good. Rebound goes to Carson Newman. Shot clock is off. Michaela Alvey crosses the timeline. Hands off to Penley. Braylon Weichel, far side of the wing. 20 seconds in the rolling clock here in the third quarter. 
Marsha Newman leads by five, looking for a good look to end the third quarter of play. Weichel near the timeline controls. But Asia Langley defending. Nine seconds, Weichel looking to do something here. Hands off, a fake hand off to Langley. Now far side corner, Weichel drives baseline. Finds Alvey down low, layup is good as the buzzer sounds. Braylon Weichel finds her teammate Alvey down low. As Eagles score to end this third quarter, it's 41 to 34. The Eagles able to stave off the Lander Bearcats just a little bit. As we'll head to break, Carson Newman leads 41 to 34. We're getting ready for the fourth quarter right here on the Eagles Sports Network. We select our insurance companies the same way you do, very carefully. When you work with us, you can count on receiving fast, courteous, and professional service and quality protection through auto owner's insurance. For a no-problem approach for your life, home, car, and business insurance needs, ask us about the no-problem company, Auto Owner's Insurance. Call Bible Insurance Agency at 423-586-4320 or go by 1600 East Andrew Johnson Highway in Morristown, serving the Lakeway area's insurance needs since 1931. We love to cheer for our home teams, like the Eagles. It means more when we're rooting for the people we know. Did you know Trilight is your home team internet provider? We're right here in Jefferson City, serving the people we know with our ultra-fast, ultra-reliable fiber broadband network. And we'd love to serve you. Learn more at trilight.net or by calling 833-847-0824. Go Eagles! Carson Newman leads 41 to 34 as we're back underway here in the fourth quarter. It'll be Gordon to drive, kick out three by Johnson Kelly, does not draw iron. And now a foul call on Lander and the rebound by Penlin. That will go against Carter. And the Eagles will get possession back. Carson Newman inbounds and Langley took it away for a moment, but it goes out of bounds off of her. It'll be a far side throw in for Carson Newman. Eagles with a seven point lead. It's Braylon Weichel in the backcourt controlling. Langley tightly defending. As now Emily Gonzalez, far side wing. She'll drive baseline on Carter. Good defense. Kick back out to Rogers. She drives on Burgos. Now the bounce pass to Weichel. Goes away from her and into the backcourt. It'll be a turnover. For Carson Newman. Possession goes back to Lander. Trailing by seven early in this fourth quarter. 9.25 remaining. As the Bearcats look for a fourth quarter comeback, led after the first quarter. But since then, it's really been all Carson Newman. Uh, speed to the top for Langley. She'll take a couple bounces at the top of the key, try and drive on Michael. Now, top of the key, Gordon will pull a three, no good off the back iron. Good box out by Gonzalez, allows Penland to grab the rebound. Penland pushes past Johnson Kelly, mid-range jump shot up and good. Campbell Penland drives past Johnson Kelly, finds an open space in the mid-range and knocks it down. Top of the key, it's Johnson Kelly controls. And she hands off to Carter. Top of the key now, Langley. Now Tania Gordon driving, scoop shot, rattles around and in. Big shot for Tania Gordon right there as Berlin Weichel pushes it back the other direction. Alvin now at the top of the key, will drive towards the elbow. Now a shot on Burgos, no good. But the rebound by Rogers, left hand scoop shot, no good. Rebound by Burgos, as here comes Lander. Johnson Kelly across half. Johnson Kelly at the top of the key, hands off to Langley. Langley drives to the free throw line on Michael, bounce pass to the corner. Carter thought about it, but will pass back out to Johnson Kelly. Six to shoot, Lander down 43-36. Gordon drives baseline, pull up jump shot, no good. Tipped around out of bounds off of Lander. Sub coming in, it's Bell to check in for Wakila Johnson Kelly. Lindsey Taylor checks back in for Keeley Rogers. Braylon Weichel moving right to left. 
will cross the timeline. Feeds to Pentland, now Alvin near side wing, tries to lob it in to Taylor, but it's deflected out of bounds by Burgos. But Carson Newman will keep possession. Sub coming in for the Lander Bearcats is Jakia Parker, as Carter will check out. Now the inbound pass, Emily Gonzalez has up on the far baseline. Bounce pass in to Weichel. She'll try and put it up, and she will, and it'll go in. Braylon Weichel gets down low, finds some open space, and scores. There's now a foul called in the backcourt on, Lang or on Weichel. Excuse me. Langley called for the, actually Weichel called for the foul. Carson Newman leads by nine nonetheless. After the Braylon Weichel layup. Bounce pass goes into Langley. White will tightly defending again. Langley pushes across half. The trap here near side from the scores table. It's Gonzalez and Penland trapping. Now it's Burgos. Near side wing feeds to the top for Bell. Bell looking for something. Hands off to Tania Gordon. She'll drive. Kick back out. Langley drives this time. Runs into her own teammate with a foul call on Carson Newman. It'll be called on Campbell Penland. It looked like. Quadasia Landing ran into Burgos right there. Nonetheless, a foul call on Carson Newman and Campbell Penland. Actually, it's called now on, I don't know if they switched the call or not. Nonetheless, Lander retains possession with 20 to shoot. 7.06 to go, Carson Newman leads 45-36. The inbounds pass goes near side corner. Three is no good by Jakia Parker. Now on the loose ball, foul called on Tania Gordon with Tori Rutherford going for the rebound. Skyler Boshier is set to check back in for Carson Newman as we'll go the other direction. Penland will inbound. As you see Rutherford going for the loose ball. Gordon just bulls over her. 7.03 left to go. Carson Newman out in front, 45-36. As Rutherford controls for Carson Newman. Screen at the top of the key by Penland. Now Rutherford drives, tries to make a move, but she's called for a walk. That is the 17th turnover for Carson Newman tonight. Big difference in the turnover battle is that Carson Newman has generated 15 points off turnovers. Lander just four. But Asia Landing checks out. Watch here Johnson Kelly back in as Bell receives the inbounds pass. Carson Newman showing that pressure in the backcourt as Johnson Kelly gets across. Far side, Johnson Kelly with a penguin defending. As Johnson Kelly slows it down, hands off to Parker. Parker drives on Michael, near side elbow. Handoff goes to Gordon. Gordon working on both shears. Steve shot is good. Tanaya Gordon. Having a good night for this Lander squad as Rutherford controls in the back course. She'll cross across the timeline. Handoff to Michael. Michael top of the key. Feeds near side wing. Rogers looking for Taylor. Tipped around by Bell. And now the foul call on Halea Bell. It's like David and Goliath fighting out there. With the smaller Leah Bell standing at five foot two, trying to take the ball away from the six foot two Lindsey Taylor, and more times than not, that's going to be called a foul every day of the week, as it was right there. Now a feed off the inbounds pass finds Penland wide open down low, off the assist from Tory Rutherford. Carson Newman's lead back up to nine, with about six minutes left to play in this ball game. 47-38, your score as Johnson Kelly crosses the timeline. Michael defending, 20 to shoot on the shot clock. Johnson Kelly receives a screen, rejects it, and now a travel call on her, trying to work on Braylon Michael down low. And the ball will go back to Carson Newman. But Asia Langley checks back in, as well as Santoro, as Parker and Bell check out. 5.50 left to play. The Eagles leading this one by nine. As it'll be Rutherford to cross half, but it's taken away by Johnson Kelly. Johnson Kelly down low, working on Rutherford. Layup is no good. Actually, it was deflected up top, and now a jump ball as possession will go back to Carson Newman. What a great job by Tory Rutherford off the turnover to recover. As we'll have a timeout here in the fourth quarter, our first media timeout as we'll head to break. We'll be right back with the last five and a half minutes of play right here on the Eagle Sports Network. Need a home-cooked meal? 
then Lisa's Country Kitchen is for you. Lisa's Country Kitchen has been feeding Carson Newman students for 15 years. Lisa's has a family-friendly atmosphere all day long. From the morning with her $2.99 breakfast specials to dinner with Lisa's fresh, never-frozen steaks. Carson Newman students get a 10% discount with their student ID. Lisa's Country Kitchen on Route 92 off Old Andrew Johnson Highway. The best food for the best prices. How do you know you're in a community, not just a town? Well, strangers smile as they walk by. They refill your coffee without you asking. And when you ask directions, people offer to walk you there. Communities give more. The way you know when you walk into First Bank that you are in a real community bank. Great products, direct access to your local bankers, and relationships that can last a lifetime. Don't just have an account. Have a community with First Bank. Member FDIC. Welcome back to Carson Newman Women's Basketball here on the Eagles Sports Network. The Eagles lead by 9, 47-38, as they will get possession back out of the media timeout. And Ryan Wilkes with you right here on the Eagles Sports Network. As Carson Newman looks to close this one out and take down Lander for the second time in as many years. As Penland will inbound to Rutherford. Looking across the, across the timeline. Good defense by Johnson Kelly. Rutherford able to do so. Olin Weichel at the top of the key now. Looks for some help here. Handed off to Taylor. Now Bo Shears near the mid court logo. Feeds to Weichel, far side wing, pull up jump shot from Braylon Weichel, no good. Rebound by Tanaya Gordon. Great defensive possession for Lander. As here comes Quadesia Langley, the drive, scoop shot is good. Gets past Bo Shears for two, and Lander within seven. Weichel, far side wing, the drive to the elbow, pull up jumper, rattles around, no good. Tipped out of bounds off of Lander. It'll be Carson Newman possession. That will send us to the under five timeout. Just had a media timeout. We'll take one more. Be right back with the rest of the fourth quarter here on the Eagle Sports Network. Dorm food got you down? Need a home cooked meal? then Lisa's Country Kitchen is for you. Lisa's Country Kitchen has been feeding Carson Newman students for 15 years. Lisa's has a family-friendly atmosphere all day long, from the morning with her $2.99 breakfast specials to dinner with Lisa's fresh, never-frozen steaks. Carson Newman students get a 10% discount with their student ID. Lisa's Country Kitchen on Route 92 off Old Andrew Johnson Highway. The best food for the best prices. How do you know you're in a community, not just a town? Well, strangers smile as they walk by. They refill your coffee without you asking. And when you ask directions, people offer to walk you there. Communities give more. The way you know when you walk into First Bank that you are in a real community bank. Great products, direct access to your local bankers, and relationships that can last a lifetime. Don't just have an account. Have a community with First Bank. Member FDIC. Back at Holt Fieldhouse, Carson Newman leads 47 to 40 with 4.54 left to play. It'll be Eagles ball out of the media timeout. Rutherford looks inbound, finds Weichel on the far side wing. Now feeds to the top for Pentland. Entry pass to Taylor. The scoop shot, no good, but a foul called on Tania Gordon. And that'll send Lindsey Taylor back to the free throw line. It's been a good start for Lindsey Taylor to start this 2023 season. Good to see her get back out there after missing most of that 2022 campaign. With injury, missed 25 games last year. It's Taylor's first free throw up and good. Big points here late for the Eagles to get, especially if they're from the free throw line. Eagles now 11-16 from the strike. As Taylor looks to make it two for two, she cannot off the front rim. As the Eagles lead stands at eight, will be like here at Johnson Kelly to take it across for Lander. 4.40 in a moving clock. Here in this fourth quarter as a handoff by Burgos goes to Johnson Kelly. Far side now an entry pass to Burgos. Tipped around out of bounds. It'll go off of Carson Newman with 13 to shoot. Eagles with an eight point advantage ever since trailing by three after that first quarter. The Eagles have been able to stave off Lander and stay out in front as Langley moves towards the near side corner but the inbound pass goes to Santoro. 
Santora receives a screen, drives towards the free throw line. Hand off back to Lanley, thinks about three, but now drives. Dish goes to Gordon outside the arc. Three-pointer no good. A big miss there for Lander as Lindsey Taylor controls the rebound. Handoff goes to Penland. Working on Mykira Johnson Kelly at the top of the key and now contact. Called on Johnson Kelly. That will be the 15th foul, meaning more free throws for Carson Newman. Penland goes it back to the free throw line. She has 11 tonight. She's one for two from the line so far tonight. As Penland spins it around, the first free throw is in. Again, big points for Carson Newman down the stretch coming from the line. As this next one can push the Eagles' lead to 10. Second free throw is no good. So a one for two trip from Penland. She's 50% from the line tonight. Lander controls, moving across half. Four minutes on the dot, moving clock. Carson Newman out in front by nine. Handoff goes to Santoro. Now top of the key to Langley. Gordon on the far side wing, drives towards the free throw line. Passes it back out to Langley, 10 to shoot for Lander. Langley drives on a Rodgers, now a foul call. I believe that one's gonna go on Torrey Rutherford, trying to take the charge. Foul is called on Rutherford. It's a block on the drive by Ardesia Langley. Good call right there. Looks like Penland, excuse me, Rutherford was a little late getting there. 3.44 to go. Lander can get back into it here with some free throws as the first one is no good. Lander's struggles tonight have been from the line. Now 33% from the stripe. Three of nine shooting. As Langley's second free throw is good. Get a sub, Michaela Alvey checks back in. Tori Rutherford will sub out. 49-41, Carson Newman out in front by eight with 3.44 left to play. As Rogers inbounds it. Weichel controls, Langley tight defense. Seen a lot defensively from these Lander guards. And able to apply that pressure with some length as now Weichel receives a screen. Feeds to Rogers near side wing. Rogers tries to drive baseline. Still retains possession as it's deflected and now a timeout. Called by Mike Mincy and Carson Newman. So we will take a break with them. Actually, we'll stay right here. It's just a 30 second timeout. So we'll talk about some of the stats tonight, some of the trends that have been at play tonight on this season opening matchup between Carson Newman and Lander. 36% shooting both ways 16 of 44 for Lander, 17 of 47 for Carson Newman. Lander has hit two more threes, five of 17 from behind the arc, three of 14 for Carson Newman. Really a big point of this game has been free throws. Carson Newman has eight more points off of free throws and that's where the deficit is right now. So Carson Newman making its money from the line. Still 12 and 19. Could do better for Mike Mincy's squad, but getting to the line in the high clip and converting enough to be out in front of this game. 15 points off turnovers as well. And is the main reason Carson Newman sits out in front as we have it right now. So out of the timeout, it'll be Carson Newman at ball. As Penland will inbound, looking for an entry pass, looks for Taylor, gets deflected and taken away by Lander. Here comes Santoro, near side wing. Santoro with Braylon Weichel defending, back out to Langley. Langley drives on Alvey, far side baseline, looks like a travel, no call now, and layup is good. Nice move in the paint, cuts the deficit to six. Three minutes to play, Carson Newman leads by six. Braylon Weichel controls in the front court. Now Penland, a bounce pass to Rogers. Rogers at the top of the key, Gordon on her back. Now Weichel, far side wing three, is no good off the back iron. Campbell Penland, a huge rebound, but the floater is far left. Now Taylor down low, grabs a third opportunity for Carson Newman, and she is fouled. Lindsey Taylor's 10th rebound, now a double-double, 10 points and 10 rebounds for Lindsey Taylor. Taylor will go to the line. Two free throws upcoming for her. 2.47 to go. It's Taylor's first free throw. It's good. Again, Carson Newman executing at the free throw line. 13 of 20 now on the night, like I said. Could hope for a little bit better, but still getting the line at a high clip as Taylor misses the second. Rebound goes to Gordon. Langley in the backcourt. 2.42 to go. Lander will have to start working with some efficiency as looks like Lander will call a timeout. 
waiting to see whether it's a full or a 30. Looks like it's going to be a 30-second timeout. So we will keep it right here while they chat. Carson Newman Ove, its last four from the field. No field goals in the last three and a half minutes. So Lander with the prime opportunity to try and get back in this one with 2.38 left to play, 50 to 43. Eagles out in front. While we have a chance, let's check in on the men's team. Carson Newman puts up 101 points on 55% shooting, 10 of 20 from three. They lead 101 to 75 over Lee's McRae. Johnny Zhao leads Carson Newman, 28 points on the night for him. As he's been dialing it up from long range, big season opening win for Carson Newman. They'll be back out tomorrow to take on King University on the campus of UVA Wise. So back ready to go. 2.38 left to play. Carson Newman leads 50 to 43. As it'll be at Lander to inbound at a timeout. Burgos finds Johnson Kelly. 20 to shoot for Lander. Johnson Kelly on the near side wing. Working on Alvy. She's handed off to Rogers. At top of the keys tonight, Gordon driving on Alvy. Scoop shot by Gordon, no good. Tipped around, rebound goes to guess who? Lindsey Taylor, her 11th of the night. Julie Rogers looking across half court, she does. Langley tight defense, as now Rogers makes a move, feeds it to Alvy up top. Alvy to the short corner, it's Taylor driving on Burgos, and a foul called on Lander. It's Burgos to pick it up, Lindsey Taylor will go back to the free throw line to shoot her 12th and 13th free throws of the night. That's five on Burgos, she will check out. It'll be Ashley Tucker to check in. So five fouls on Burgos. 2.10 to go, Taylor with a chance to extend Carson Newman's lead to nine. She toes a free throw line. First one is up and good. Lindsay Taylor now six of 12 from the line. 50% free throw shooting for her. And she readies for number two. Second free throw is up and through. Carson Newman leads by nine as Taylor will check out. Rutherford back in. Lindsay Taylor up to 12 points. The 13 now, excuse me, leading the Carson Newman Eagles tonight. Two other Eagles in double digits. Campbell Penland with 12. Braylon Weichel with 10. As Johnson Kelly crosses the timeline, 2.07 to go. Carson Newman leads 52 to 43. Langley drives on Weichel, nothing there. Has to hand off to Johnson Kelly at the top of the key. Nice move by Johnson Kelly. Mid-range jump shot is through. Nice job by Johnson Kelly to create some separation and knock down the mid-range jumper. As here's Tory Rutherford crossing half court. Under two minutes to play, Carson Newman leads by seven. Weichel on the far side wing receives a screen. And on top of the key, Weichel has to pull it back out. 17 to shoot. As Weichel pushes the top of the key, now open three on the near side. Wing rattles around, no good. Rebound by Rogers. She puts it up, no good. Rebound now by Gordon. As Lander's going to have to push. Far side, it's Langley trying to drive on Rutherford. She does so, keeps her dribble as she falls down, but it's taken away by Carson Newman. Braylon Weichel in the backcourt will slow it down a little bit for Carson Newman. Now a foul on Langley. So Carson Newman now will look to close it out from the free throw line. Leading by seven. 113 to go as here comes Shakia Parker back in. It'll be Weichel to shoot two. Braylon Weichel two of two from the line tonight. Here's the first. It's no good. Carson Newman has shot more free throws and made more than Lander, but it's got to be a focal point to Mike Mincy and his squad to knock down those free throws. Shooting 15 of 24 now on the night. As Weichel readies for number two. It's up and good. Weichel goes one of two on her trip to the line, making an eight-point game, 53 to 45. Your score with just over one minute to play. 110 on the rolling clock. As Wakira Johnson Kelly controls. Lander not pushing with much urgency here. Johnson Kelly at the top of the key, hands off to Gordon. Gordon looking around for an option. She drives on Rogers, kicks to the near side corner. Langley's three is good. Big shot from Cardasia Langley. Langley, excuse me. With under a minute to play, it's a five point game. 53-48, near side pass for Alvy, finds Rogers. 
Now coming to the basket, Braylon Weichel mid-range jump shot is good, and a foul. Not on Weichel, but down low on Michaela Alvey, so it'll be free throws for Carson Newman. A chance for an unconventional four-point play will be Alvey to go to the line for two, and then on the loose ball, on the loose ball foul, Alvey goes to the line. Braylon Weichel's mid-range jump shot is through. So Carson Newman leads by seven. The referee's discussing, as I believe it will be free throws. The basket is good as a foul was after the shot goes on Tucker. 45 seconds to go, big time shot from Braylon Weichel. Had some shooting struggles tonight, but still not a bad night for Braylon Weichel. 13 points from five of 16 shooting. Yes, here's the first free throw from Alvy, it's through. 56-48 with 45.8 left to go here in this ball game. At the conclusion of this one, we'll hear from head coach Mike Mincy as his second Alvy free throw is through. 57 to 48, Carson Newman out in front. As now Johnson Kelly will look to push, 43 ticks left to go. Johnson Kelly drives, crossover move, scoop shot, no good, rebound. Kick back out, Langley, far side wing three, no good. Tipped around, Carson Newman can't secure it yet, but now Alvey will push ahead of the pack, she'll slow it down. 27 seconds left to go, and Alvey will almost turn it over, but it's tied up. Possession will go to Lander, I believe. So a tie up right there as Alvey was looking to slow it down, ran into a couple Bearcats, and Lander able to tie it up. So 22 seconds to go, 57-48. Carson Newman out in front as Johnson Kelly scoops it up. 20 seconds and counting as Johnson Kelly top of the key. She'll drive on Rutherford. Jump stop in the paint, kicks back out. Parker trying to get open for a three. Tight defense by Alvey. Now Gordon with 10 seconds remaining. Near side kick, the three-pointer is up and good from Parker. Six seconds ago, Carson Newman leads by six as Rutherford Kicks it to Penland and now a foul with 2.6 remaining. And Campbell Penland will have some pretty inconsequential free throws right here with Carson Newman leading by six with 2.6 to go. So Carson Newman will move to 1-0 on the season with a season opening win against Lander. Wasn't pretty, but Carson Newman able to get it done. We'll talk to head coach Mike Mincy after the first break heading into the Domino's post game report. As a first free throw from Penland is up in third. 58-51 the score. And is now Penland ready to shoot the second. Second free throw is good. 59-51 Carson Newman, 2.6 left to play as Langley receives the inbound and she will just dribble this one out. Carson Newman takes the season opening win 59 to 51 over a pesky lander team as we're going to take a quick break and hear from head coach mike mincy on the other side right here on the evil sports network if you're looking for official eagle merchandise look no further than the carson newman bookstore with a large selection of carson newman gifts and apparel you're sure to find something to please the entire family from stuffed eagles to towel sets sweatshirts shorts hats and slippers we literally have you covered from head to toe we have just the item you're looking for no matter what the season so whether you're an eagle student parent alumni or fan shop us for everything orange and blue call 865-471-3539 for more information and store hours we'll see you at the carson newman bookstore Serving East Tennessee for 40 years, Magaha Electric is the perfect choice for all your electrical projects. Magaha Electric specializes in commercial, retail, manufacturing, residential, and industrial contracting needs. Magaha Electric can provide superior service, technical know-how, and realistic budgeting for any size project in a timely, cost-effective manner. Visit MagahaElectric.com for all your electrical contracting needs. Magaha Electric, your East Tennessee electrical contracting source. The game's over, but we're just getting warmed up. The Domino's post-game report starts in 60 seconds on the Eagle Sports Network. At InterDigital, we strive to be a leading provider of cutting-edge digital and marketing solutions. At InterDigital, we want to help our clients find success. 
Our team of technology gurus work together to ensure InterDigital continues to progress forward as technology advances. At InterDigital, we make technology work for you. Visit InterDigital.com for IT support, web development, virtual tours, graphic design, internet marketing, mobile app, and film production services. InterDigital, laser focused on your success. Domino's Pizza in Jefferson City and Morristown wants to help feed your business. When you're hungry at lunch, show your business card at Domino's in Jefferson City and Morristown when you make your purchase for pickup or delivery to get 25% off the entire order. That's 25% off your order at Domino's in Jeff City and Morristown when you show your business card. Call 865-471-6700 to get a pizza. Domino's, the official pizza of the Carson Newman Eagles. This is the Domino's Post Game Report on the Eagle Sports Network. Right wing three, Alvy Cash. Michaela Alvy. Your stats breakdown. A conversation with Mike Mincy, presented by Modern Woodman Financial Planning, plus the selection of the AEC Electrifying Play and Food City Player of the Game are all headed your way. Today's game is also brought to you in part by Appalachian Electric Cooperative. We're AEC, powering the Eagles and Mossy Creek. By Domino's, the official pizza of the Carson Newman Eagles. By the Eagle Club, the family of Eagles. By Pepsi, that's what I like. By Magaha Electric, providing quality electrical services and products to East Tennessee for more than 40 years. By First Bank, the official banking partner of Carson Newman Athletics, Inner Digital. IT support and marketing, laser focused on your success by the Bible Insurance Agency, the agency that's service built by Lisa's Country Kitchen, the best food for the best prices, by Food City, value every day, by Trilite, dream big with gig, by Modern Woodman Financial Planning, touching lives and securing futures, and by ShopCNEagles.com the official online store of the Carson Newman Eagles. Let's head back to the arena and the voice of the Lady Eagles, Andrew Rogers. Ryan Wilkes here post game with head coach Mike Mincy after a big season opening win over Lander here on the Eagle Sports Network. These post game comments are brought to you by Water, Modern Woodman Financial Planning. So, coach, a big win here to open. So, looking at the stats, you know, you guys shoot a ton of free throws tonight. I mean, really did a good job getting to the line tonight. You guys shot 20 of 29 from the line. Maybe you want to shoot a little bit better percentage, but what you think about your girls getting the line tonight? Well, I mean, that's a key. Twenty to twenty nine. Yeah, it needs to be better, but uh, again, you want to get to that get to the line and convert. Uh, what was Lindsay? Lander was Lindsay, four of ten. Lindsay Taylor. Lindsay Taylor. She was seven of thirteen. So she would get to the line a lot. Uh, she converted there a bit late, but uh, you know, she needs to make sure that the line is better. So going forward, what are some things you and your team want to work on? I know Lander is a tough team that presses defensively and makes stuff difficult on you. What is it like to see a team early on, or what are some things you want to build on for tonight? Well, we kind of knew that was going to be the case. You know, I was looking for, I rotated a lot of players in the first half. I was looking to see who was going to be able to handle that pressure. You know, unfortunately, we got stuck in the second half uh, playing basically eight, nine players, basically eight. I either moved Keeley to, uh, to the five at some point because they hit two big threes there in the second half when uh, Ruth was out there. And it's just hard guard for her. She had to get on the perimeter and match up, and they hit two big threes. So we had to make that adjustment to put Keeley at the five. Um, but, again, a tough one at home. You know, this one certainly could have gone the other way. And, uh, you know, we're, again, we're just forced to get the W. So I want to take you back to one sequence there in the first half, in the second quarter to be exact. Uh, Tori Rutherford starts it off. You guys are down 10-7. She kind of provides a spark plug, getting a couple of steals and creating her own little run there to kind of kick you guys into gear a little bit. What do you think of that, and how do you think that helped your team? 
I mean, it, it was changed the momentum of the first half for sure. We were struggling. We scored seven points in the first quarter. Again, it's not like we're talking about stuff that happened last year. We have been scoring the ball really effectively, shooting a high percentage up to this point. And so that was just a, a pathetic first quarter from a scoring perspective. Great defensively, but terrible from that. And so that steal, layup, steal, layup, and I think Sky hit her on a backdoor cut. She was able to drop, get the free throws to get those six points. Uh, you almost could say that that was saving plays, game-saving plays for us at that point because uh, it helped us to get it to a seven-point lead there at the half. So last thing I want to ask you, you know, you talk about your team and the scoring prowess that you guys have. You didn't shoot the ball that well tonight. Thank you, man. Uh, yeah, we, you, uh, you didn't shoot the ball that well tonight, but you guys were able to overcome that. Yeah. What does that say about your squad this year and what they can do defensively? Well, I think that's one of the things. I mean, I don't know what Braylon's final numbers were, but that was not a Braylon Weichel type game. A very frustrating game for her, I'm sure. Um, it was Lindsay's first game back in a game that really mattered, obviously, a, a, a regular season game. She had some things that she could convert it on. They all did, you know. Um, so. When, when Braylon's struggling like she did because of the defensive pressure, I don't what were her numbers? I don't have a stat sheet, so. Braylon was 5-16 from the field over 6-3. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it was it was, it was was a tough night. And, uh, you know, we're not necessarily known for our defense, but in a game like that, we play a team that has great good speed and take you off the bounce, which they did a lot last year. Last year we gave up 70 to this team. 51 tonight. Um, yeah, I guess that's something you can build off of is that uh, when we need to get down and guard, we certainly can. Um, but offense is so important. It's such an important aspect of, of basketball, and um, we didn't do a good job of it tonight, but, again, got the W. Coach, good luck tomorrow. Good way to start the season with yep. the win. you got a big one tomorrow. Thank you. Appreciate yep. it. That's head coach Mike Mincy. Post-game comments brought to you by Modern Woodman Financial Planning. We'll be right back to wrap this one up right here on the Eagle Sports Network. cheering on our favorite team, or the way we come together in a crisis. Small communities are made up of people with big hearts. We're dedicated to hard work and innovation through sunny days and stormy nights. AEC is always here, powering the people and the places that make our community a spectacular place to call home. AEC, power what matters most. We select our insurance companies the same way you do, very carefully. When you work with us, you can count on receiving fast, courteous, and professional service and quality protection through auto owner's insurance. For a no-problem approach for your life, home, car, and business insurance needs, ask us about the no-problem company, Auto Owner's Insurance. Call Bible Insurance Agency at 423-586-4320 or go by 1600 East Andrew Johnson Highway in Morristown, serving the Lakeway area's insurance needs since 1931. More player interviews and stats come your way in 60 seconds when the Domino's postgame report continues on the Eagle Sports Network. When you're sick and tired of fast food and need a fresh home-cooked meal, turn to Lisa's Country Kitchen. Lisa's been cooking up her fresh, never-frozen food for the Lakeway area for more than 15 years. Lisa's cares about her customers. You may enter a stranger, but you'll leave a friend. From footlong hot dogs to juicy steaks, Lisa's has the best food for the best prices. Lisa's Country Kitchen on Route 92 off Old Andrew Johnson Highway. The best food for the best prices. This is Carson Newman, men's basketball alum, Taylor Hawkins. I want to help your family secure its financial future. I'm with Modern Woodman Financial Planning, where we touch lives and secure futures. Let Modern Woodman protect your family's financial security through life insurance, retirement planning, and financial services. You can contact me, Taylor Hawkins, at cneagles.com forward slash modern woodman. That's cneagles.com forward slash Modern Woodman. Help secure your family's financial future through Modern Woodman Financial Planning. Back on the Eagle Sports Network to wrap this one up. Carson Newman takes it over Lander by a final score of 59 to 51. Ryan Wilkes with you on the Eagle Sports Network. Looking at some of the stats, Campbell Penland leads away with 14. Lindsey Taylor with 13, Braylon Weichel with 13 as well to lead the Eagles in scoring. Lindsey Taylor with a double-double, 13 and 10 on the night. 
as the Eagles able to take this one 59 to 51 over the Lander women's basketball team. A big way for Carson Newman to open its regular season. Tough way for Lander to do so, but both teams have struggled shooting the ball some. 39% for Lander, 35% for Carson Newman. 20 of 51 shooting for Lander, 18 of 52 for Carson Newman. Lander did heat up from three, hit seven of them to shoot 35% from three. Seven of 20 from the three-point arc. Three of 16 for Carson Newman. So not the night the Eagles were looking for from behind the arc. Nonetheless, great night overall for Carson Newman to get the win and open their season 1-0. and So we will hear from a couple players here in just a moment before we get you on your way tonight. But again, Eagles win 59-51. to You'll hear from a couple players on the other side here on the Eagles Sports Network. There's something about a small community that unites us, whether it's cheering on our favorite team or the way we come together in a crisis. Small communities are made up of people with big hearts. We're dedicated to hard work and innovation through sunny days and stormy nights. AEC is always here, powering the people and the places that make our community a spectacular place to call home. AEC, power what matters most. We select our insurance companies the same way you do, very carefully. When you work with us, you can count on receiving fast, courteous, and professional service and quality protection through auto owner's insurance. For a no-problem approach for your life, home, car, and business insurance needs, ask us about the no-problem company, Auto Owner's Insurance. Call Bible Insurance Agency at 423-586-4320 or go by 1600 East Andrew Johnson Highway in Morristown. Serving the Lakeway area's insurance needs since 1931. More player interviews and stats come your way in 60 seconds when the Domino's postgame report continues on the Eagles Sports Network. When you're sick and tired of fast food and need a fresh home-cooked meal, turn to Lisa's Country Kitchen. Lisa's been cooking up her fresh, never-frozen food for the Lakeway area for more than 15 years. Lisa's cares about her customers. You may enter a stranger, but you'll leave a friend. From foot-long hot dogs to juicy steaks, Lisa's has the best food for the best prices. Lisa's Country Kitchen on Route 92 off Old Andrew Johnson Highway. The best food for the best prices. This is Carson Newman, men's basketball alum, Taylor Hawkins. I want to help your family secure its financial future. I'm with Modern Woodman Financial Planning, where we touch lives and secure futures. Let Modern Woodman protect your family's financial security through life insurance, retirement planning, and financial services. You can contact me, Taylor Hawkins, at cneagles.com forward slash modern woodman. That's cneagles.com forward slash Modern Woodman. Help secure your family's financial future through Modern Woodman Financial Planning. We'll talk a couple last stats here before hopefully we get some players here at courtside again. Carson Newman takes down Lander 59-51. to They out-rebound Lander 47-31. to That was a big point of emphasis tonight for the Carson Newman Eagles to get the job done this afternoon. So the Eagles move to 1-0 on the season in the Peach Belt Conference Challenge. Big win tonight. Coming up, we have Lenore Ryan and USC Aiken. That'll get going here in just a little bit as Carson Newman takes down Lander to open this competition. We're going to take another break, and on the other side, hopefully we'll have some players. If not, we'll wrap this one up right here on the Eagles Sports Network. There's something about a small community that unites us, whether it's cheering on our favorite team or the way we come together in a crisis. Small communities are made up of people with big hearts. We're dedicated to hard work and innovation through sunny days and stormy nights. AEC is always here, powering the people and the places that make our community a spectacular place to call home. AEC, power what matters most. We select our insurance companies the same way you do, very carefully. When you work with us, you can count on receiving fast, courteous, and professional service and 
quality protection through auto owners insurance. For a no problem approach for your life, home, car, and business insurance needs, ask us about the no problem company, Auto Owners Insurance. Call Bible Insurance Agency at 423-586-4320 or go by 1600 East Andrew Johnson Highway in Morristown. Serving the Lakeway area's insurance needs since 1931. More player interviews and stats come your way in 60 seconds when the Domino's postgame report continues on the Eagles Sports Network. When you're sick and tired of fast food and need a fresh home-cooked meal, turn to Lisa's Country Kitchen. Lisa's been cooking up her fresh, never-frozen food for the Lakeway area for more than 15 years. Lisa's cares about her customers. You may enter a stranger, but you'll leave a friend. From footlong hot dogs to juicy steaks, Lisa's has the best food for the best prices. Lisa's Country Kitchen on Route 92 off Old Andrew Johnson Highway. The best food for the best prices. This is Carson Newman, men's basketball alum, Taylor Hawkins. I want to help your family secure its financial future. I'm with Modern Woodman Financial Planning, where we touch lives and secure futures. Let Modern Woodman protect your family's financial security through life insurance, retirement planning, and financial services. You can contact me, Taylor Hawkins, at cneagles.com forward slash modern woodman. That's cneagles.com forward slash modern woodman. Help secure your family's financial future through Modern Woodman Financial Planning. Back here at Holt Fieldhouse, Carson Newman gets the job done. 59-51 over Lander here tonight as the Eagles able to get the victory. We'll take a look one more time at some stats before I take you back to Carson Newman men's basketball. Check on how they did. Again, Lindsey Taylor with 13 and 10, a double-double for her. 14 and 5 for Campbell Penland, 13 and 3 and 2 for Braylon Weichel. So a good night overall for those who round out the starters. Lindsey, or Tori Rutherford with 6 points on 2 of 3, shooting 2 of 2 from the line. Had that little spark plug there to start the second quarter as the Eagles able to use that to move forward and get the win. Looking at the men. Carson Newman men able to get the job done against Elise McCray, 101 to 77, shooting the ball at a 54% clip, leading the way for them. John Zhao with 28 points on 10 of 12 from the field, five of six from three. Great night for him in 20 minutes played. It's an awesome night for him. Nick Brennigan led at the guard position with 11. Browner with 22 on seven of 21, shooting as the Eagles able to get it down the road. They'll be back out against King University tomorrow. So we're going to have one player interview, Braylon Weichel heading over now. We'll get her in just a moment here on the Eagle Sports Network. There's something about a small community that unites us, whether it's cheering on our favorite team or the way we come together in a crisis. Small communities are made up of people with big hearts. We're dedicated to hard work and innovation through sunny days and stormy nights. AEC is always here, powering the people and the places that make our community a spectacular place to call home. AEC, power what matters most. We select our insurance companies the same way you do, very carefully. When you work with us, you can count on receiving fast, courteous, and professional service and quality protection through auto owner's insurance. For a no-problem approach for your life, home, car, and business insurance needs, ask us about the no-problem company, Auto Owner's Insurance. Call Bible Insurance Agency at 423-586-4320 or go by 1600 East Andrew Johnson Highway in Morristown. Serving the Lakeway area's insurance needs, since 1931. More player interviews and stats come your way in 60 seconds when the Domino's postgame report continues on the Eagles Sports Network. When you're sick and tired of fast food and need a fresh home-cooked meal, turn to Lisa's Country Kitchen. Lisa's been cooking up her fresh, never-frozen food for the Lakeway area for more than 15 years. Lisa's cares about her customers. You may enter a stranger, but you'll leave a friend. From footlong hot dogs to juicy steaks, Lisa's has the best food for the best prices. 
Lisa's Country Kitchen on Route 92 off Old Andrew Johnson Highway. The best food for the best prices. This is Carson Newman, men's basketball alum, Taylor Hawkins. I want to help your family secure its financial future. I'm with Modern Woodman Financial Planning, where we touch lives and secure futures. Let Modern Woodman protect your family's financial security through life insurance, retirement planning, and financial services. You can contact me, Taylor Hawkins, at cneagles.com forward slash modern woodman. That's cneagles.com forward slash modern Woodman. Help secure your family's financial future through Modern Woodman Financial Planning. All right, Ryan Wilkes here on the Domino's Post Game Report. Post Game Interview with Guard Braylon Weichel. Again, post game comments brought to you by Modern Woodman Financial Planning. So, Braylon, kind of a tough shooting night for you guys overall, but you were able to get it done overall. What does that say about your team? Um, it definitely gives kudos to our defense tonight. Um, I think we held them to, what was it, 51? Um, <laughs> anyways, that was a big thing um, going off of last year. Um, they were getting to the basket way too easily. So um, stopping uh, most of their drives and just trying to get the easy things on offense, even though we missed some bunnies and stuff, myself included. Um, it's good to know going forward because we know we can make those shots. And, hopefully have good defense. So you guys had that scrimmage against Tennessee, but really it's been a while since you guys yes. have been able to compete against, you know, competition here at Holt Fieldhouse. What was it like just to get back out here and play some ball? Oh, I love it. Um, it's my last year um, here. I've been here for five years. Um, the last uh, two weeks, I guess, since Tennessee, have been a little rough just going against each other, trying to ground out that preseason um, practice situation. <laughs> Um, but it's good that we're playing a lot of basketball right now. I think we play uh, five games in 11 days. It's a lot of basketball. That's what you want. You want to play games. So, so it's a Lander team that kind of pressured you guys in the backcourt a lot. How are you able to deal with that, and how did your teammates help you out with that as well? Yeah, um, some of it is experience. Um, we played a lot of people that have been in college games. Um, we are going to go against a lot of teams um, early on that's going to put pressure on us, so we definitely need to know how to navigate that. Um, I thought we did okay at that. I think we had a little bit too many turnovers there, um, iffy turnovers that we never should have had. But um, I think each game it will get a little bit more polished and we'll get used to that. So a big advantage for you guys was getting to the free throw line. They mm -hmm. shoot 10, you guys shoot 29. Yep. You know, you guys were really able to get to the rim. How much of a focal point has that been for you guys? It's been um, huge, uh, especially with Lindsay. Um, we didn't have her last year. She can get really easy buckets. I think she went. She's super efficient, always has been, always will be. Um, she can get to the free throw line pretty easily. I think Campbell got there a lot. Honestly, all of us got there um, quite evenly, so that's going to be huge for us because, you know, we can make those shots. So you'll get to see a little bit of this USC Aiken squad tonight if you mm -hmm. stick around and catch them. What are you guys expecting from them, and how are you guys expecting to go into tomorrow? Um, I think they've gotten some transfers, so it might be a little bit different look, but like I said, I've been here for five years. Teams usually have the same styles um, of play. Um, especially if they have the same coach, they don't really stray away from anything that they don't know. So um, hopefully tomorrow we put the ball in the basket a lot um, more efficiently. Um, we keep that good defensive intensity, and we just get another win, start the season 2-0. Braylon Weichel courtside with me, 13 points on 5 of 16 shooting. Overall, a good night for the Eagles, able to get the job done tonight over Lander, 59-51. to 51. Again, post-game comments brought to you by Modern Woodman Financial Planning. Braylon, thank you. Best of luck tomorrow. Thank you. So we'll wrap this one up here in just a moment. We'll take one more break and be right back here on the Eagle Sports Network. There's something about a small community that unites us, whether it's cheering on our favorite team or the way we come together in a crisis. Small communities are made up of people with big hearts. We're dedicated to hard work and innovation through sunny days and stormy nights. AEC is always here, powering the people and the places that make our community a spectacular place to call home. AEC, power what matters most. We select our...
There's something about a small community that unites us, whether it's cheering on our favorite team or the way we come together in a crisis. Small communities are made up of people with big hearts. We're dedicated to hard work and innovation through sunny days and stormy nights. AEC is always here, powering the people and the places that make our community a spectacular place to call home. AEC, power what matters most. We select our insurance companies the same way you do, very carefully. When you work with us, you can count on receiving fast, courteous, and professional service and quality protection through auto owner's insurance. For a no-problem approach for your life, home, car, and business insurance needs, ask us about the no-problem company, Auto Owner's Insurance. Call Bible Insurance Agency at 423-586-4320 or go by 1600 East Andrew Johnson Highway in Morristown. Serving the Lakeway area's insurance needs since 1931. More player interviews and stats come your way in 60 seconds when the Domino's postgame report continues on the Eagles Sports Network. When you're sick and tired of fast food and need a fresh home-cooked meal, turn to Lisa's Country Kitchen. Lisa's been cooking up her fresh, never-frozen food for the Lakeway area for more than 15 years. Lisa's cares about her customers. You may enter a stranger, but you'll leave a friend. From footlong hot dogs to juicy steaks, Lisa's has the best food for the best prices. Lisa's Country Kitchen on Route 92 off Old Andrew Johnson Highway. The best food for the best prices. This is Carson Newman, men's basketball alum, Taylor Hawkins. I want to help your family secure its financial future. I'm with Modern Woodman Financial Planning, where we touch lives and secure futures. Let Modern Woodman protect your family's financial security through life insurance, retirement planning, and financial services. You can contact me, Taylor Hawkins, at cneagles.com forward slash modern woodman. That's cneagles.com forward slash modern woodman. Help secure your family's financial future through Modern Woodman Financial Planning. Welcome back to Holt Fieldhouse. Carson Newman takes down Lander 59-51 to as the Eagles move to 1-0 on the season and kick off this 2023 campaign on the right foot. So signing off from Holt Fieldhouse, Ryan Wilkes signing off with you as Lander falls to Carson Newman. Carson Newman gets the job done tonight and takes down Lander 59 to 51. So that'll do it here from Holt Fieldhouse. Carson Newman will be back in action tomorrow against USC Aiken. Andrew Rogers will have your call right here on the Eagle Sports Network. We love to cheer for our home teams, like the Eagles. It means more when we're rooting for the people we know. Did you know Trilight is your home team internet provider? We're right here in Jefferson City, serving the people we know with our ultra-fast, ultra-reliable fiber broadband network. And we'd love to serve you. Learn more at trilight.net or by calling 833-847-0824. Go Eagles! You've been listening to Domino's Post Game Report on the Eagle Sports Network. Today's game has been brought to you in part by Appalachian Electric Cooperative. We're AEC, powering the Eagles and Mossy Creek. By Domino's, the official pizza of the Carson Newman Eagles. By the Eagle Club, the family of Eagles. By Pepsi, that's what I like. By Magaha Electric, providing quality electrical services and products to East Tennessee for more than 40 years. By First Bank, the official banking partner of Carson Newman Athletics. The Inner Digital, IT support and marketing, laser focused on your success. By the Bible Insurance Agency, the agency that's service built. By Lisa's Country Kitchen, the best food for the best prices. By Food City, value every day. By Trilight, dream big with gig. By Modern Woodman Financial Planning, touching lives and securing futures. And by ShopCNEagles.com, the official online store of the Carson Newman Eagles. The executive producer of the Eagles Sports Network is Matt Pope. Producers Adam Cavalier, Ian Johnson, Andrew Drizzy Rogers, Nia Taribio, 
Caitlin Jones, and Ryan I Love the Herd Wilkes. I'm staff announcer Ernie Anderson. A special thanks to Carson Newman and University President Dr. Charles A. Fowler. Stay tuned to these stations for information on our next presentation of Carson Newman Basketball. In the meantime, visit CNEagles.com for recaps, highlights, and interviews from today's game. This is the Eagles Sports Network.